<laughs> We're in. The Dean Blundell Show. On the edge. Good morning, Psychic Nikki's here. Hello. How are you? Well, you can't... You, I'm don't great. Blow kisses. It's the radio. Don't blow kisses. I'm great. Right. Very good. You look nice good. to see you. It's great to see you. You look pretty uh, clean today. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Much, much cleaner than days past. Like you look like you got up early, had a nice shower. You look well put together. It looks like you didn't oh, rush. Thank you. you look natural. I did. You still look so much like that Muppet, though. I can't get Which over Muppet? it. Janice. Which Muppet? Yeah, that Janice rock and the roll. Muppet. Yeah, 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 yeah. from, from like the band. Exactly. I want to see like a picture. For sure. <laughs> I don't remember that. Dude, really? Dude, I'm yeah. going to say right now. Dr. Tooth. I do now. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm saying I didn't at first when oh. you were trying to figure it out. Yeah. Then you did the voice and then I remembered it. Yeah. Like, is she not her exactly? <laughs> oh, I don't look like a Muppet. <laughs> yeah, look, look. Donna Teller Versace, maybe. <laughs> Bull crap. You look way better than her. Oh, She's thanks. disgusting. I, she looks like that Muppet. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> that Donna Teller Versace is disgusting. Ooh, well, I better not Google look like her. Google a picture of her. She, she had a face like transplant. A, she, <laughs> <laughs> she looks like the Muppet. Yeah, the face transplant chick? That's because I'm showing you a picture where someone spliced them together, Nikki. But yeah. I like her fashions. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. Uh, anyway, do you get some predictions? You want to get I there? do, Dean. What are they? There's something wrong with these... Cans? I, yeah, you're not coming Can through. Me? Can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you you like that one. Can she hear? Uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you hear me now? You got it there. Can you hear me? Now can I can hear you. Okay, maybe maybe you just your ears finally bit. popped and you no, went down. Crank it up. Crank it, it, up. it up. She's deaf. She's 107. I am not. It's already cranked? Yeah. It's better now. Here, let's switch. Oh let's goodness. switch. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. Can we have not figured this out before we She's went on the radio? She's one decibel away from deafness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what just happened? Really She's that oh, extra. Oh, too. Can you hear me now? Oh, oh thank you, dear. Thanks. Are those, Can you hear me now? Really? This is so unprofessional. Can you hear me now? Just a minute. You're Jesus, put your headphones on. There we go. That's right, better. That? That's better. This All one right. wasn't working. Is that better? Derek, can you hear? No. Okay. See? It's not okay. my ear. <laughs> okay. There's a pair right behind you. Okay. Yeah. Can we have done this off the air, Todd? Can it's we, can we get on that? Well, I sort of gave up on the sort of stuff two, three years ago oh, when I became right. a prima donna. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you really don't help. <laughs> it's not much, right? I know. I know. It's really... Why... Anyway, be here. Nikki, go yeah, ahead. Yes, Steve. Now I can hear all of you. All great. right. Thank yeah, you. It was Ooh. the earphones. Hurry up. Can we just hurry up? Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> what would you like to know? The predictions. That's what we're <laughs> doing. Okay. Disgusting. Now, this, why are you here? I, are, are you here to split the atom or are you here to do predictions? I'm here to do the predictions. Okay, good. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Hope she doesn't split the atom. <laughs> why is that, Todd? Stuff would fall out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you mean space junk? <laughs> 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 Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> All right. There's going to be a runaway cab in New York City, and he's going to be drunk and no brakes, and the, the cab's going to go all over the place in right New on. York. Yeah. It's not going to be a good thing. No? No, not at all. Now, in under 10 years, you're going to have 3D, 4D movies, okay, with people coming out of the screen. Can we do so? Yeah, we oh, know. Oh, yeah. That's like in that Is Tom it, Cruise yeah. movie, man. Which one was Minority that? Minority Report. Yeah, Minority Report. I only saw the last part of it. I that's really like, liked that that's movie. That's a stellar movie, dude. Yeah, because his wife died and he's like trying to oh, talk really? to her I and he's trying it. to hug her, but she's because he's drunk sort of. But it's just like a screen coming out at him. Really? Yeah. Well, they're going to jump right into the audience, that's, the characters. That'd be cool. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And there's going to be a Disney World in Vietnam. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, just watch me. out for the landmine. <laughs> <laughs> I, <just, laughs> I don't think really? that's occurring anymore. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not. No way. In all see, places. Dude, I'm yeah, that's a whole ride. <laughs> You gotta make it from one side of the field to the other. <laughs> I think that would be cool. Uh oh, room for one more. Because Ho Chi Minh City, you know, is a big tourist attraction. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Um. Also, there's going to be another accident in a monster truck show, which isn't good. A two Where? Hundred- there's one coming here soon. Oh, there is? Yeah, oh, like in a, in a few weeks, two, I three weeks, monster. I believe. Yeah, dude, I'm taking yeah. my youngest kid to it. He lo- he's in love with monster trucks. He thinks they're the coolest. Really? It's yeah. cool, man. Wow. Okay, let's hope it's not here. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's get seats in the 500. It's going to be... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe way up high. I got it. Yeah, that's what okay, there's going to be a 250-pound groom who's getting married, and he goes to his stag party in Manchester, England, and he's you know all riled up because there's going to be his favorite stripper coming out of the cake. Yep. Instead, his 300-pound wife pops out of the cake. Oh, that's so gross. It is? Probably shouldn't eat her way out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
now, <laughs> she did. I, I'm getting a... I'm surprised she doesn't want to just pop out of a pizza. I, I'm getting a person dying at an airport when they get, you know those machines, those radar Scanner. machines? Scanner. Scanner. Body it's going to electrocute scan. them. That's oh, really? awesome. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Um, there's going to be an earthquake under Mount Everest. Yep. And Bigfoot will be spotted in the Black Forest of Germany. What's he doing there? I don't know. Maybe he met Arnold, <laughs> the Terminator. What? He's that makes no, no sense. sense. Okay, no, well, no. It, well, it's what I saw. I saw the vision. Cake or you saw Schwarzenegger in your... No, I saw a Bigfoot in... <laughs> Never mind. I, thank you. Yeah. Wow. Uh, two... Good choice. <laughs> Black <laughs> Forest is, you know... Cake. It's a, it's a big forest there. Damn. Black Forest. Yeah. But, you know, I told you that you're going to see these creatures all over the world before 2012 and probably in 2012. They're all hiding. That'd be cool. Yeah. Do they all have the same hiding place? Because we can't find any of them. <laughs> no, they're all, no, Washington State. We can State. find lost kids in a forest. Yeah. With, Al- in Al- Park. And we, we, we like, can find Saddam Hussein in a hole. Right. Um, however, we can't seem to find the most, the largest, most mythical bumbling creature in the history of creatures <laughs> yeah, but they're, in the world. And I don't and think somehow, he knows how to cover up his footprints. Like, yeah. yeah. right? yeah. like look, I've seen it. There's I don't not, think he's erasing his trail. <laughs> there's not, you know, it's in conjunction with 2012 and the aliens mm. out there. So it's they're not ready to attack yet. Yeah, yeah right. Isn't it? Right. Mm. Now, I see two planes. Do you want to colli- hear these Bigfoot sounds? Yes. Oh, this Listen to this. this is crap. These are actual sounds of a Bigfoot. Really? <laughs> Where is that from? Oh. Someone was tickling him in that first yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> and then they stop and they're like, you cute little fella, you. And then they go again just like to yeah. surprise Bigfoot right here. And then he's like, oh, you quit. That's what he meant by that. Oh, really? And then they do it one more time. They give him a little taser in the ribs there right here. He's like, I'll do my R2-D2 impression for you. <laughs> well, we, remember, we descend from these big feet. No, we don't. Yes, we they do. They don't even exist. No, they no, no. exist, Dean, I'm telling you. Crap. Big wiener, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to Washington State, you're going to see it, or Algonquin Park. Okay. I know it for a fact. <laughs> now, <laughs> you were at that Captain Morgan thing last week, and this, uh, some chick asked me how big it was, and I said, well, I'm pretty sure it hurts hurt people. <laughs> you're being Bigfoot? No, sort of. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, did you know too that I was? I actually we interviewed a Bigfoot expert a couple of times. Oh yeah, that's fun. And they okay. talk. The guy was talking about how how the Bigfoot leaves ten kilograms of poop when he moves his bowels. Ooh, that's, that's ten disgusting. kilograms of poop of scat. Oh, poop. Oh. He called it scat. scat. Yeah. So now you can understand why he, this guy's oh, yeah. in so much pain here. <laughs> <laughs> He's just getting out. Last little bit here. <laughs> That's actually his butt whistle. Here's another one. <laughs> oh god. Oh this this one's this fella's constipated. <laughs> A tent. <laughs> a rabbit. Can you imagine his fart? Like, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. not. You're not really? the funny one this here. Okay. 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 Sorry. Here we go. Here we, can you imagine his fart? <laughs> Probably be better than yours. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thanks a lot, Todd. <laughs> this, is, this is another. This is uh, the. This. This is from 1973. Oh. The sound. This okay. is a Bigfoot sound from 1973. <laughs> Know what it sounds like to me? What? Nothing. Oh, okay. A, a streetcar turning the corner. I'm this t- one. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a guy yelling in the background, going, "Come yeah. on, come on." <laughs> seventy-eight. That one's from seventy-eight. Hmm. This one's from recently. Oh.
there's no way they're going to find yeah. any of this stuff, and there's no way any of this is even yeah. real. Dean, they will. No, they won't. No, I'm no. telling you, they will. They're ready to come out. <laughs> it's what they're all deciding. Yeah. Now? <laughs> no, no, not that way. Um, you're going to see them. <clears throat> I told you, giant. Do they talk? Bigfoot's. Yeah, they just heard them. They talk like that. <laughs> you heard them taking a dump. <laughs> they talk. I'm telling you, these creatures are not ready to make their full appearance. Are so? they communicating with each other? It's like not yet, guys. Exactly. Get out of so it. Like I'm the, telling you, so the I'm three of them are going to come out and do yeah. what? Yeah. Not just three. <laughs> There's more take than a big that. Shotguns. There goes Bigfoot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a hero. <laughs> oh, gee, that was the last one. <laughs> they planned that coming out party for a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> People of Earth. Well, I'm telling you, I see it. Hey, everybody, you're listening to the deal. Like Nikki's here. Uh, she, she was uh, she, she, t- she had a big week uh, last week. She predicted a, a giant fish would wash ashore or not wash ashore, be found in a field. Yeah, yeah. and they found a thirty-three foot female whale in a grassy field, eight hundred yards off the shoreline. It's not in a England. fish, Dean. It's a mammal. It's a fish. It's a fish. Looks like a fish. Swims like a fish. It's a fish. Eats like a fish. Fine. Fine. It's a good looking fish. Fine. So, way to go. That was crazy. And Thank the occupying of the Bay Street and the uh, Wall Street. That's pretty good, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. And then, and I also said another plane would crash in New York and it did in the East River. Well, that was a helicopter. Helicopter. Yeah, helicopter, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, no, well, this is totally Switched different. Semantics. Okay. <laughs> come on. Which Dude, Dude Derek, Derek's got a point. She does that sometimes. She'll come in yeah. and go, I also said another plane would crash in the uh, Hudson, and it turns out it was a, a motor scooter in the, in the Mississippi. But it flew for a second yeah, on its way off the yeah, pier. I said counts. they'd find Bigfoot, but really just a huge bear came out. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Their feet are much larger than ours. Go ahead. <laughs> this is really Bigfoot. No, it's not. Now, I see two planes colliding over Lake Ontario. Planes or planes, seagulls? Planes <laughs> over Lake Ontario. Not seagulls. Well, they could collide too, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I see a movie okay. star chucking Hollywood. Chuck what? Chucking Hollywood. I like, don't even get, know what like, that means. Well, getting ch- rid of it, Chuck. Getting rid of it. And, and he's going to go around the world on a raft. And he's going to grow a beard. You know the movie um, Cast Away with Tom Hanks? Yeah. He's going to yeah. look like that. He wants to look like that. He's just sick of Hollywood. Really? Is he sick of Hollywood? Or yes. is Hollywood sick of him? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, <maybe>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah, I got to tell you. Probably or probably. <laughs> now, Go there's going to be a huge gold rush in Canada. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. And also, a man is going to try to snuggle a snake in his pants in an airport. Snuggle? Snuggle. Like, I mean, smuggle. Come here, you. Hey, hey, baby. You want to come over here and snuggle this snake? I know. I was going to say, I've had a lot of women snuggle my snake. (laughs) I mean, smuggle, guys. What? 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 Yeah, yeah. I mean, smuggle. That's what I mean. There's even a lot of women snuggling my snake. <laughs> but I prefer it when they <laughs> smuggle my snake. <laughs> In their little snake smugglers. <laughs> yes, but what happens? Here's here's the thing: the what? snake jumps oh, out of his pants yes, and bites does. the custom agent and impregnates <laughs> a customs agent. Right. <laughs> There's going to be limbs made out of flesh in under 10 years. Oh, imagine that. There yeah. already are. Like, what, are they, what do they make them out of now? Well, no, they're, they're like bionic limbs. <laughs> oh. But they're going to be even more than that through stem cell research. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they so should, you're going to be able to create man. They should make them like those Hulk fists you see. That'd be cool. <laughs> 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 what is that? <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. What is that? I had nothing. Uh, anyway, Todd, if you wanted a twin or Dean... Of all people here, yeah. you don't know what a fist is? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've eaten lamb fist. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, like you know, the fist of a lamb is very good. Yep. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's going to happen. So if you want... They're going to be able to create human beings. Oh. They are. Oh, yeah? Neat. Yeah. 
Do you, yeah. know, do you know mm. who I wouldn't make? I wouldn't make a mm. Rob Ford again. That's for sure. <laughs> well, I didn't. She didn't say they'd make quadruplets. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of meat. Well, That's too big to make. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's going to be a tragedy at Mount Hood where a plane goes down on Mount Hood, and I think right. that's in Oregon, if yep. I'm not mistaken. It is. Mount my hood. <laughs> yeah, and I see a tsunami <laughs> off the coast of Oregon. A what? A tsunami? A tsunami. Okay. Okay, and um, I also see an electronics board at a hockey game going out of control, giving the wrong score. Oh, no. So there's going to be a hockey riot. (laughs) Really? That's not good. Okay. Yeah. I think people are smarter than that. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't Derek. Know. Keep in mind, there are sorry. thousands watching on a big screen outside. outside. Yeah. What? <laughs> Let's get them. Hopefully that one falls down. Yeah. <laughs> but I actually see this electronic screen going haywire. Okay. Fiery yeah. ways. And there's going to be a cyberspace, you know, virus huge worldwide. Okay. It's going to be awful. Okay. Okay. And that's coming up in 2012. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. And I do see uh, a man jumping over Niagara Falls again. Over it? Uh, yeah, over it. Like just jumping over the falls. Is he going to die? He probably will. You know, I've never understood that. Did you hear about that That girl? Was it a Japanese exchange? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Didn't she go in on purpose? I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never mind then. <laughs> I always wonder what people think the result's going to be when they do that. But. I don't think good. Unless you're in a barrel. And, yeah. And, and I also. And even then. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I also see a huge robbery at a casino. Mm. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I said that once and I yeah. laughed yeah. and then it yeah. happened like the next day. But there's going to be a huge robbery. It could be in Niagara Falls as well. And I see somebody going over the falls on a tightrope. What's your... Uh, oh, like failing to make it over <clears throat> the falls on a tightrope. Well, they may make it halfway. <laughs> And then they fall in? Well, I'm, I'm kind of getting them... <laughs> First they land on their balls, <laughs> right on the rope, and then go in. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. And then they, they do, they bounce a little bit yeah. and hold their oh, balls. And, oh, go, oh, 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 and then they spin upside down, yeah. and right. then they fall straight down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. And then I see a, a man on a kayak going hey, over the falls. The aristocrats. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? The aristocrats. Nothing. Go ahead. Yeah. Then I see a man kayaking over the falls as well. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. And there's going to be a stowaway on a plane, and they're going to be flying under the plane and live to tell whatever happened to them. What, like hanging on on the outside? Yes. Like on the wheel? <laughs> yes. Open up the wheels! Open up the wheels! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I don't think they're going to freeze. That's going to be awesome. But they could freeze, couldn't they? I read a story yeah. about some, yeah. some dude from Cuba, apparently yeah. years and years ago, <laughs> that stowed away in the landing gear to get out of Cuba. Sure. How bad must Cuba be? That's pretty bad. Yeah, right? and and the, he thought the plane was just going to Miami or something or to Canada. Yeah. Went to like Japan. It was an ice cube, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they opened up the landing gear and he fell on top of someone's They're house. Like, we have a mojito. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I like mojitos. Uh, not that one. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I'm getting a giant skunk, like huge, terrorizing Toronto. Awesome. Yeah. But it's it's a big one, like really? a large okay. skunk. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. It's always a big one. A mutant skunk. <laughs> yeah, it would be a mutant. Okay, we get it. Okay. And I see a hockey player marrying one of the women in the lingerie football. One of those women. Really? Oh, yeah. that's cool. I like that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'll be fun. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully and, not that Krista Ford because. <laughs> but guess what? She's going to get married in lingerie too. Who is? The girl that the hockey player really? marries. That's going to be a classy wedding. No. It's, it's going to be a class for be sure. Class- Fair. That's yeah. That'll be. Yeah. And um, Justin Bieber. This is awesome how you do this. You're just pulling this stuff out. Is he going to. Is he. Yeah. No. Oh, dang. No. <laughs> No. In a wheel well of an airplane? What about him? Don't what say he's going to be in a play. No. Nope. What is he? What's I'm going to hold it till next week. No, no. Yeah, I want to surprise you. No, you yeah, no. no, you got to write it down. No, it isn't. Yeah. No, you're not, I'm not letting <laughs> you go. Okay, okay. It's what <laughs> she was going to say because there's reports of him being a lay Miz. Really? Yeah, coming to Toronto. As a little skinny girl? <laughs> nope. Okay, what is nope. it? What is it? Cosette. Um, <laughs> you know, I just see him on a large stage. Oh, he's on a lot of those. Yeah. Good one. See, I stole it from you. I did. I stole it from you. Yeah. I stole it from me. Because I, like, I read the star this morning. Oh. <laughs> See, I didn't read any papers this morning. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but remember, Dean, I made I made yeah. predictions when 
it was no technology. When there was no newspaper. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> back in 1700 or whatever. Nikki puts the dick back in prediction. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Nikki's here still. We're taking some phone calls this morning. How are you? I'm great, Dean. Good. Ready for some phone calls? I sure am. All right. Hi, The Edge. Hi. Who's this? Uh, Leanne. Hey, Leanne. How are you? Um, I'm all right. Thanks. Where are you calling from? Uh, Toronto. What do you want to ask Nikki? Um, I recently lost my brother, uh, and I just wondered if she could feel his presence around or anything. Of your brother? When yeah. did he pass? Did he leave something behind as a way yeah, to remember yeah. him? or? Well, he... Oh, presents. Uh, Never mind. Yeah. No. <laughs> Dude, you said it because when she said she lost him, my first mind was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Go find him. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, lost him. He left the presents him. behind. Should I open them? <laughs> Sorry. So can okay. you feel when, his presence? When, when like, did he pass? Uh, August 16th. Just what in happened? August? Yeah. He took his own life. Oh, I'm sorry oh, to hear that. That's so sad. Gee. Thank you. That's very sad. Um, you know what? I think that he's gone right up there because I'm not really feeling him totally, but it doesn't mean he's not, you know. I just think that somebody that dies tragically like that, I feel that he's at peace, but he's up there. Okay. He went right up. So Thank he's not you. earthbound. Not getting okay. that. And he's probably a pretty happy guy right now. Well, he, you see, now he has Why? no pain. Mm-hmm. No pain, meaning no emotional pain. Right. He's at peace, and uh, you should remember him as he was. Bef- you know. Can I ask you a question? Times. Can I ask you a question, ma'am? Yeah, First of all, my 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 heart goes out to you. That's terrible. Mm-hmm. Thank uh, you. Uh, are you married or single? I'm married. You're married. Uh, yeah. Was your husband nice to you during the whole thing? <laughs> He's probably listening. Well, I'm just um, making sure. Did he help you out? As best as he's capable of, I suppose. <laughs> oh, it's not going well, is it? Mm-hmm. It could be better. Yeah, my, yeah, I get it. I get it. So, but but when when you go through tragedy, do you feel a little more vulnerable? Uh, oh, little, uh, absolutely. Yeah. And so, should some guy come around and make you feel special at any point in time that's not him, look out. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's oh, good. there's a man with a motorcycle theme, around everybody. you in the future too. Oh, there's another dude. Yeah, a a motorcycle. Motorcycle. Let's motorcycle? make this chick happy. She's going to meet some dude with a massive wiener that drives a motorcycle. <laughs> right. <laughs> and all his buddies are going to take turns on you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And his name's Brian. Is it Brian? Really? Yeah, Brian. Brian. Wow. Really? Yeah. What? Do you know a Brian? I don't. Do you like a Brian? Would, uh, would, you, would you like one? Sure. Would you like one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Ashton <laughs> Kutcher. <laughs> I have. I don't have any problems with that. Oh <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! Hey, listen. All the best to you. Keep your chin up and keep living a happy life. Okay. Thanks. And I'm sorry about your brother, but he is at peace, so that's a good thing. Imagine if you gave her worse news. Like, no, he is even worse off right now. Well, <laughs> his well, spirits in Scarborough. Right. <laughs> at the edge. Hello. Hi. Who's this? This is Liz. Hi, Liz. How are Hi, you? Liz. I'm good. How are you? Good. Where are you calling mm-hmm. from? I'm actually calling from work right now. Okay, guys, you can go in. What do you do? What, what do you do, do, do for a living? A uh, teacher? I, I yeah, I'm an ECE actually. Should oh. you be on the phone right what, now? What's ECE? I thought that was a rapper. Early childhood educator. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought she said uh, ECE. Yeah, sorry. No. What's your I'm, question? Uh, um, actually, I'm thinking about going back to school, and I would usually ask my dad, but he passed away in January. So oh, I was boy. wondering if Nikki, if Nikki had any um. What happened to your dad? Um, he um fell asleep and didn't wake up. Oh, that's a nice one. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You had like a big meal, too, that night, you know? Yeah, he actually had um, yeah. Chinese food. Yeah, oh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be honest. What a great way to go. Yeah, so yeah. that was his last meal with fried rice, so. Fried yeah. rice? I don't know, dude, I don't know why you feel bad for him. <laughs> well, how old was he? Uh, 55. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's that's early, soon. Yeah, well. That's feel, very young. No, he didn't ask for no MSG. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> okay, she wants to know what, if she should go back to school. You know what? I, I do see you going back to school, but it's in reference to what you're doing now. So I still see you working around kids. But you're going to be like a real teacher, not one of those early yeah, childhood like I see, educators. Yeah, I, I see you upgrading everything in accordance with what you're doing now. Good luck to you. Thanks. Don't call radio stations while you're at school and working with kids, though. Why? 
She, she was there supposed to be guiding oh, kids not, and she's they're like, not retarded they're just, they're no, just but send them in go nah, go you never talked on the phone one while, 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 while you hanging out with your son? kid no no she was at the school with the kids let me ask you something you ever oh. been home with your two kids yeah and you've been on the phone at the same time while you're trying to do something with them no she was at work at her school yeah I know Next thing you know, you're going to tell her not to play She's, this on the loudspeaker. Yeah. This show. Yeah. <laughs> I know. The nerve of me. To not come to work all high and stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. I was getting preachy. Yeah. I apologize. Hi, the edge. Hello? Hey, dude. Hey, I'm shaking. Um, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, I got a punchline for you guys. Oh, he wants to hear some Caruso. Okay. Four of them filed for welfare. Three of them didn't show up for work, and one of them thinks he's president of the United States. Yeah! <laughs> I don't even know what you mean. Did you? I have a feeling that was a joke we probably couldn't say. Was it a racial joke? Yes. Huh? Jerk off! Hi, the edge. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Who's this? Go. Amy. I honestly didn't even Amy. hear what he said. Hi, Amy. Hi. Um, I work at a funeral home, and so this question is for Nikki. Um, there's a do you see dead we, people? <laughs> we do every day. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this one is really not in body anymore. So. Oh, cool. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> so I just wanted to know why he's here. and if A ghost, know. right? Yes. At the funeral home. But what do you see? What are you seeing and wh- what's going on? Um, I just see him from the corner of my eye. He usually stays in the basement, but once in a while he creeps up the stairs. What? Are you sure the owner isn't just checking you out from behind a closet, giving it a pull? No, it, and he, he's, I can't really describe him because I can't see him really well, but my other colleagues don't see him. They just hear him and feel him. Really? They feel him. Yeah. You sure it's not the owner of the funeral? Oh, oh, I feel him. I'm a ghost. Okay. <laughs> Here's my spirit. <laughs> I'm the masturbating ghost of the funeral home. I don't think so after the embalming fluid. <laughs> Oh, that's so, like a funeral home yeah. joke. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, hang on. But- yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello? Hi, Nikki. Ghost yeah, have you researched phone. anything about this ghost in reference yeah. to where you're working? Doesn't it sound like Bigfoot's on the um, No, because our building, it, we don't, we haven't always owned it, and I don't know what it was before this. Okay, but this ghost goes back to somebody that actually was in the area of the funeral home. Okay. So whatever was there before, and he could have even, you know, I don't think he worked for the funeral home, but it's somebody that was there way back when. Like, you know, it could be during the war years. Oh, okay. Okay, and this is a spirit that's having a hard time crossing over. Okay. And I, I definitely see somebody like a period piece. Somebody, yeah, somebody. gross. No, not that. <laughs> they oh, still get those. Ghosts. I'm not talking about. Why that. It's a ghost that's very bitchy. <laughs> it's a very bitchy female yeah. ghost. It's, it's, it's having her female ghost period. No, it's a male ghost. Is he mean? I'm sorry. Is he mean? Well, you know, some ghosts are mean, and he could have been a wife beater. At the time, Jeez. wow, yeah, like I think he was kind of like There'd something be camouflage to, on him, something to do with <laughs> shoes or a shoemaker or or something. There, you should research this. Go back into the, but I really think during the f- pre-war years, like maybe 1940, 1942. It wasn't pre-war years. Well, 1939, 40, 42. In those, in it's that also area, also not pre-war because that was the whole years of the war, <clears throat> guys. Thirty-eight. Yeah. 37, 36. And then. Yeah, like that. Like pre- Don't get mad at us for okay. picking, yeah. picking it apart. Okay, <laughs> I'm, and, and I'm trying to concentrate, guys. Okay, oh, we're, so, we're done. Oh, sorry. She's gone. Oh, okay. we're moving yeah. on. I was trying to get his name. Doesn't matter. Okay. ghost name? Casper. Yeah. <laughs> the unfriendly oh, God. ghost. Patrick Swayze. <laughs> at the edge. Hi, guys. Who's this? It's Sarah. And I have a ghost in my house. Okay, oh! Sarah. I love these ghost stories. Oh! Halloween's coming up. All right. <laughs> okay, <Good>. Sarah. <laughs> All right. I want to know who it is. 
Um, we moved in 2008, brand new house. Okay. Within one week, we I started getting weird stuff happening. Like okay. What? What's the weird um, stuff? Oh, uh, giggling children, um, locking me out of rooms. Uh, we used to have a cat. He died before we moved into the house, mm-hmm. but he only drank out of the bathroom sink. Mm-hmm. And then for two weeks straight, maybe I'd it's a dog. Maybe, maybe it's a dog ghost. <laughs> well, maybe. But <laughs> drinking out of the sink there. Well, for two weeks, I'd find my bathroom sink filled with water. <gasps> oh, not blood. Oh, that's pretty freaky. Yeah, the last straw was my son picked his room, and within two weeks of moving into the house, he didn't want to sleep in there anymore. Oh, your son, huh? Hmm. Yeah, and he wouldn't even go into the room, and I asked him why, and he says, because it's creepy. So one day I tried to go into the room, and there's no locks on the door, and I couldn't get in. The door was locked. Okay, now the cat that passed away, when did that cat pass away? Uh, 2006. 2005 oh. or 2006. Okay, and in the other home, after he passed away, you didn't see him. So I, I think actually no. uh, someone has just sent me some audio, uh, if you oh. can do this. Someone okay. has sent me some audio of that ghost in your house that troubles your little boy. Okay. Uh, have a listen. It's right here. I'm going to fall ahead from way up there. I have been my children. And always been my dream. I love them. And I love them because... Uh-oh. I didn't have a childhood. No childhood. Oh my God! I feel their pain. Feel their pains. I feel their hurt. What? I can deal with it. Feel the worst. Does that sound familiar? I have a better one. No. Okay. This one so maybe this, this. Well, no. We this we have audio. Way. This this might be oh, it here. Oh, okay. Yeah, have a listen. <laughs> when people believe it, show. When people believe. Get your kid out of that house. I think. Show. Hold it. <laughs> I want to say. Oh my God! It's true. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Go, go! I've never seen anything like this. Go! It's amazing. He's the greatest entertainer in the world. I'm taking that money. I'm really feeling. You got Michael Jackson's ghost in your house. You get your kids out of there. I'm out of there. (laughs) Okay, so who's in her house? We know it's not Okay, now, now, the cat, when did it pass? Pardon? Oh, at 2005 or 2006. Oh, okay, sure. and you never saw the cat after no, he passed at all. Cat. And no. so you're just seeing the sink filled up with water. But you know what? There was a fire, okay, on that, the... I'm sorry? In his hair. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, and why do you think that? <laughs> During think, a Pepsi I car. think there was a fire or an accident on the land. There that's what I farm, think. A farm, and yeah. it's a teenage boy, yeah. and he's playing tricks on us. Yeah. That's right. And he's, that, that's, he's a little prankster, that prick. Yep, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm getting, but I I feel that you're going to move very soon. Oh. Okay? Don't move. Okay. Yeah, no. no. she's gonna. There's going to be more of this going on, Derek. I'm really feeling that whole thing going on. And at Halloween, or just prior to Halloween, and I'm okay. not trying to scare you, you may see the cat, too. Oh, my. In full form. Oh, I'd love that. I miss him. <laughs> It'd just be for a minute, though. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. We have another cat, and he's black too. He's this, he looks the same as the old cat. Oh, that's the baby. The cat. yeah, but I still see the other cat. Yeah. But there was a fire. This is awesome talking about yeah. cats. Yeah. Yeah. No, this, <laughs> old lady talk. I'm talking about a fire around her home. It's a pretty I've got a, Hang on, I've got another clip for you of your oh, house boy. and the ghost that's invading your child's bedroom. We are the world. We be there. The lost. Children, these are songs I've written because it hurt, you know? It hurt. It hurts, parents. It hurts. It hurts. Uh. Where's the cat? (laughs) (laughs) Where's the cat? 
<laughs> the cat at? Yo. Uh, okay, so, so you're gonna move. Fire. You're gonna move. Yeah, huh? the fire. Now, now you can look into the archives and see what was there before. But I think that there was like a farm, like you say, there was a fire there, and you know, I see people that got burnt. A lot of them. That's what happened. And then in that house. No, uh, no, Eric, in that sorry. house. And I'm seeing three. I'm seeing five children. Oh, okay, three sad. boys yeah, and two girls. Okay. Mother and father, okay? And this this occurred way Uncle back when, Japan. way mm-hmm. back when, like maybe 80 years ago. Right. So that's what I'm you. getting. I know, okay. Okay, that's... Good luck to you. Why do you do that? What? It's all those details that don't matter. Because I'm getting it in the visual, Dean. You're getting I it actually, in the visual? Yeah, like you... Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's so I love cool. It. That's good. Hey, everybody. Was Nikki takes nights. it in the visual. Yeah. No, there you go. <laughs> This is not visual after. No, Ash. Okay. It's good eye. Just a minute. Ash I'm getting is- it in the visual, man. Right now, I'm getting it right in the visual. Oh. Oh. Oh, I should have worn oh. glasses. Oh. Oh, ow. Oh. Oh. No, I was seeing oh. a visual, Dean. Oh. Yep. Getting. No, the visual of the, of the whole f- and the fire and the smoke. I was smelling the smoke and everything. No, okay? you're just Around having a stroke. The- no, Dean. Whoop. Come on. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, my God. Four one six nine six one seven nine seven six. Someone wants to get a hold of you. Yeah, and um, yeah, four one six nine six one seven nine seven six or psychicnikki dot com or psychicnikki at twitter dot com or yeah. uh, grannyblowies dot com. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 Grannygummers dot no. com <laughs> or visual dot com. Grannygummers dot com. Enough. That's it. The Dean Blundell Show podcast is done. On 102.1 The Edge. The Team Blundell Show. Mornings. It's all crazy. On The Edge. Look who's here, everybody. Ooh, hi. hi. How are you? I am great. Since you look I... actually pretty nice today. Thank you. You're wearing green and Thank black. You. Thank you. I know, usually it's just black, black and black. And black. Right. <laughs> a little colorful. I like your hat. You look like a little... Oh. I don't know. Old lady. <laughs> oh, okay. you know what, Dean? Coming from you, I don't care if you say I'm old lady. Uh, how are you? Give us. Uh, let's get right into the predictions. Put your old lady glasses on and let's go. Okay. Let's okay. go. Okay. Now, um, now, I actually confirmed a few things here. I went back to my prediction list and I said a world-renowned race car driver, Formula One, will pass away in a fiery crash, but it was back in 2005. Yeah, I know, and you predicted it actually this year. Yeah. That Dan Weldon guy. Yeah. See, this isn't, this isn't time to give yourself credit, because we do that. Oh, I just okay. wanted the predictions. Whatever you say, and then the Paul McCartney <laughs> one was 2009, That's number 20, right. getting got, married. Once again. Yeah, okay. And um, now I see a train with explosives blowing up in Texas, mm-hmm. a plane crash in Chicago's O'Hare Airport. And I travel around a plane taking off from Portland, Oregon. There's going to be a, a very big uprising in Lebanon. And I see Beirut on fire. Again? Yeah, again. And, and honestly... Um, Sounds like a nice place until you realize what happens there. Beirut. Beirut. Beirut is on fire. Yeah. Beirut. Beirut. Beirut, Beirut, Beirut is, is on, on fire. fire. Beirut. Beirut. Beirut is on fire. Yeah, we're yep. done. We're done with that. Oh, okay. Yeah. We stopped after two. <laughs> we yeah. did? Yeah. Well, I had a record producer following me on Twitter, a big one. I bet <laughs> After did. that, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, there's going to be a sex scandal around President Obama. Really? A really bad, like a really big one. And like, Obama is it d- including him or is it including his staff? Or I what think is it's it? including him Michelle? and staff and whatever. I'm really getting it. <laughs> his staff. And, and, and I'm getting an Apache helicopter in Arizona will crash with a high profile person on board. <laughs> and, you know, Prince Harry has to be careful, too, around planes. Those guys like to fly planes. They do. Yeah, but I like the princes. That's their man card. Yeah. And a bowling alley in Pennsylvania will catch fire. Hmm. Um, I see a very large earthquake any day. Now, I know this is an earthquake zone, people, but honestly, Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco, huge. And it's going to trigger the big one very soon. My big one? I hope. <laughs> it's going to trigger your big one. <laughs> it's going to trigger a big one or your big one. Um, then I'm getting a large earthquake in Las Vegas, Nevada. A world renowned country star will pass. Really? Yeah. There's going to be um, death at a polo match. I, I see a man dressed up like a zombie robbing a bank in Toronto. 
Um, <laughs> there's going to yeah, there's going to be a bomb at the Vatican in in Rome, Italy. Okay. Um, there's going to be an intruder at 10 Downing Street in London, England. I'm getting. A fire at a movie theater in Los Angeles, killing a lot of people. A tragedy at the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C. A magician will saw somebody in half when something goes wrong. He really you know, saws I, them in half. He really saws them in half. Yeah, I think it's like the House of Wax. You know? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that would be wicked. So it's like, oh, man, this didn't work. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Those screams may sound real, people. <laughs> right. Because they are. <laughs> the shooting blood. Really? He's actually going to saw someone in half? Yeah, but would he be charged or not? Because it's an accident? Could he be charged with a murder or not? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> and um, I see... No, I- he can be charged... Um, he can be charged with uh, being awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Like, who wouldn't go to that show if you actually wanted to see <laughs> someone get sawn Especially in half. when he does it again at the 11 o'clock show. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. All right, volunteers from the audience. Exactly. The and last I- person's husband got some uh, really good life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> and I see a heavy set movie star will pass away from stomach stapling. Seriously? Seriously, yeah. Who? Um, just a big, fat star. Oh, a big <laughs> no, fat star. A big fat star. <laughs> Heavy set movie star. Right. A colossal earthquake gap. Yeah, a tragedy at the Seattle Needle in Seattle, Washington. Well, maybe someone, uh, maybe someone used it. It's dirty, and then they shared it. Yeah, that's right. Now another a South American dictator will pass. Really? Yeah. Hugo Chavez says he doesn't have cancer anymore, but apparently he does. Oh, he's going. Is he really? Yeah, and the same with Hugo President Mubarak. Chavez. Mubarak will die. Dude, he's in a hospital bed. Of course he's going to die. He's like almost dead already. Yeah, he, had to, he had to do his trial in a hospital bed. Oh, he did? Like with a, yeah, that's that's not a prediction. That's just fast. Right. Now, I see right. also uh, right. a, an American politician. Um, he's taking, he's at the podium talking about something and he gets high. Really? Yeah. Just all of a sudden? Um, <laughs> yeah. Getting back to the Obama sex scandal, do you think yeah. it's Obama mm-hmm. that's going to be caught doing something he shouldn't be doing? or Because I know a, a couple years ago you predicted that uh, someone would bring him a baby. It, it, that's it'd be right. Like something yeah, that he, a baby did out years of wedlock, ago. yeah. No, like someone, like a, a kid would come. It's, oh, it was like 17 years ago you had this kid. So, something like that. Really? Yeah, I'm really getting something. And, you know, there's, there could be... You know there's be... an okay in something? Yeah. Uh. Thank you. Some, not something. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's not something. It's, it's something. something. And, and now Sandra Palin's not running for president. Sarah. Sandra. Or Sarah Palin. No, it's Sandra. Yeah, you're right. It is Sandra. Sandra Palin? Yeah. Okay, Sandra, Sarah Palin. She's not running for president, but there could be another female running for pe- president. Mm-hmm. I, I'm getting that. Tina Fey. Maybe me. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah, it? yeah. And this, you being the president of something? <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be great? Not really. It would be awesome. I don't know. You don't, I don't know? I don't think so. You wouldn't vote for me? No. Something oh, really? tells me you wouldn't win. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> well played. Thank right. you, Derek. <laughs> uh, danger around the Kardashian clan. Hey, did you hear that? That, that I almost said a swear. <laughs> that F and B. No. <laughs> did you hear that uh, Kim Kardashian and that Chris Humphreys guy got divorced already? They got separated. Oh, no. yeah. Well, yeah. It doesn't surprise Yesterday, me. Yesterday, he moved all the stuff out of her house, a bunch of boxes. <laughs> How long did they get married? Like a month ago? Yeah. That's got to be a record. I thought that was a rock solid one. No. To be honest with you. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. Nah, they dated no. for like two months. So they you try and sure model your relationship other. on other people's relationships. Yeah, and I thought that one was going to be pretty good. I thought that was the good. one. Mm-hmm. What anyway, can you do? Nothing really. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I see a circus tiger escaping from the circus. Ex- escaping. And killing people. <laughs> well, dude, did you you predicted the petting zoo one too, right? Yeah. Like the, the all those exotic animals in Ohio that they shot. Yeah. Did you hear that that the, they found a lion had actually eaten one of the monkeys and the monkey had herpes? Oh, really? I'm not even kidding. You're kidding? No, I'm not even joking. Wow. That's why I said I'm not even kidding. So you can't say you're kidding. <laughs> How did, does a tiger get? Herpes? Um, That's I don't a know. lion, actually. Or a lion. lion. I didn't know. It's a lion. Can a lion get... I think anything can get herpes. Really? Do you have herpes? No, never. Uh, not yet. Never, never ever. <laughs> um, no, I, 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 I think that pretty sure... Like, uh, they, they found the lion. They killed the lion. Yeah. yeah. They did the autopsy. Like, they needed to know the cause of death after right. they shot him. Yeah. <laughs> Down in Columbus. Bullet. And the, yeah, gun. And then, uh, so they, they kill the thing, and then uh, they, they figure out it ate, an un- it ate, ate a monkey. And uh, the one monkey that Ooh. they couldn't find, because they shot 49 of them, and the 50 escaped, and the one monkey they couldn't find, 
boom, was eaten by the lion. lion and they said, to, well, you know the monkey because it's got herpes. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. But you know what? The animals, I really feel sorry for them. Because they're wildlife, and they were shot. Like, I mean, it's I know. it's a terrible thing. Yeah, there's know? video of it going around, too. There's, like, 911 calls. Excuse me, there's a lion in my backyard. It's really? just not something you hear every day. Right, right. Excuse me, a lion just ate a monkey with herpes on the picnic table. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> no. It's not good. Yeah, so you, good job you predicted that one. Too. Yeah, well done. Yeah. It wasn't Berlin, but still. Now, a couple of months ago, uh, Dean, and I know you don't want me to mention this, but um, Gaddafi, okay, we, we were talking about Gaddafi and Libya and all that, and I said, he's going to die. And you said, well, he's a dictator. He should die. That's all. That's all yeah, I wanted to died. say. Yeah, he died. Have so, you seen the video? It's on my blog. It's, like The one that's on my blog, and Todd's blog, too. The one that's on my blog is like, uh, there's two of them. So Todd's got the one of him being dead. And I got the one of of him like the like the really gory one. It's uh it's just a link, but the, it it and he's like he's walking around and stuff. I almost said the yeah. S word. He's walking around and he's begging for his life. It, like he was like no 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 no, and he's be- and bleeding and he's been shot Ooh. a couple times and stuff. Yeah. And then they're like yeah no problem. And then they hold him down and pop him. That's called hell. <laughs> no. oh, oh okay. Okay. No. I was, no. It was actually called uh, Tripoli. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> Libya. <laughs> Cert. Kelly. Cert. It was in Cert. Yeah, that's where he's Cert. from. He's All right. Yeah. I want pants and a new Cert. <laughs> <laughs> so he's screaming. Save my life, please. I won't paint my pants are bloody and I need a new Cert. <laughs> right. Now, Obama's still in danger because yeah. even though other people killed Gaddafi, they're going to blame America for this. Right. They blame America for everything. So, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. there's going to be massive retaliation soon okay yeah on behalf of who on behalf of your terrorists yeah oh well that'll be interesting definitely Mm. a lot of terrorists always make life interesting don't they especially at farmers markets and malls (laughs) and stuff now a suicide bomber is going to blow himself up in front of the white house in washington seriously yeah there's got to be video of that yeah yeah absolutely that'll make it on that'll make it onto some reality show for sure and maybe on fifth avenue too okay great Toronto's new rock in the Dean Blundell Show. Weekday mornings, 102.1 The Edge. Just uh, for the record, folks, uh, I got a lot of email. I didn't know you were allowed to say a-hole. And there- yes, you are. I found that out a couple weeks ago, so sometimes I might throw it in there from time to time. I know it's a family program, but it's a great descriptive word. It's I believe it should be more technical is what it should be. Like you should go to a proctologist and they should be able to say, Let's see. How's your a hole? Yeah. Because it's a technical, it's a very descriptive technical term. It is the ass, and that is the part that, you know, it's in the center. You, it might, your microphone's not on. Oh, anyway, okay. There, go. there we go. All right. There we go. You look nice today, Nikki. Oh, thank yeah, you, Todd. Thanks. You do. I appreciate that. Thank you. She does. Thanks. She looks uh, like a cute little old lady. Yeah, like you look like your age today. It's nice. Really? <laughs> no, no, like it's like you're not trying to dress younger. Like it's nice, it's classy. You look like a very classy, yeah. middle to higher end aged woman. Oh, I like a, I... like a movie starlet. Really? Yeah. Wow. Thank Let's you. Not get carried away yeah. with that. Yeah. Thank you. Mary Poppins. I thought I looked like little Bo Peep. <laughs> looked like Nanny McPhee. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I like all those comments. Hi, the Edge. Yeah, I'd like to ask uh, Nikki a question. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just going through. Uh, really rough time having a lot of bad luck I just wonder describe your rough time sir let's compare I've lost, I've lost my house uh, my wife's been uh, she's got diabetes just diagnosed with diabetes and uh, you know I just my son financially trouble and you know just my whole thing going you're, wrong. you're in financial trouble or your son both of us okay so your wife's just got diagnosed with diabetes you just lost your house meaning yeah. the bank just took it away yeah uh, do you not have a job? Oh, yeah, I work. You know, it's just uh, maybe I got some bad advice or something. But uh, To not pay your mortgage? Uh, no, it wasn't that. It was uh, a really complicated thing there. Okay. okay. Is his day going to get any better, do you think? Oh, yeah. I mean, you may have a flat tire soon, but what what is your sign astrologically? Pisces. Dude. Pisces. Oh, you're Pisces. Todd what? had to give me a ride to work this morning because I had a flat tire. Oh, you had the flat tire. There was a screw in it. Oh. There was a screw in my tire. Oh, wow. It was put there by a human being. Really? A screw. Wow. Probably an mm. asshole. 
<laughs> good, good call, Todd. Good call. <laughs> I guarantee you it was. Yes, probably. Probably. And I know this person, too. So. Oh, do you? Well, there's yeah. a lot of them around. Yeah. Me. Anyway, um, what is your sign astrologically? Pisces. Oh, you're Pisces. Okay, a fish. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. fish has had very good luck earlier on in the year, so you might have a rising sign that's not doing you too good. Uh-oh. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. But, you know, you've gone through a lot of bad luck right now, and, yeah. I'm, yeah. I, and I'm thinking this is definitely going to change in 2012. Oh, right on. Right yeah, on. so I think early in 2012 after New Year, I think mm-hmm. into the spring you're going to have a better spring for sure. Why would you even give this guy more bad news? What like about? even if it doesn't change, you wouldn't give this guy more bad news. Oh, yes, would you? I would. I never tell you people tell what him? they want to hear. No. So if you if you if you thought his his luck was going to really run out next year, and everything was going to go south, would you tell him that? Absolutely. I ne- I never tell people what they want to hear. They can you know. There you go. So you can take mm. it to the bank. Right. Hi, the edge. Hi, I was hoping to speak with Nikki. Yeah. What's your name? My name's Brooke. Hi, Brooke. I like that name Me for too. a chick. Me Thank too. Thank you very much. Are you hot? I hope so. All right. Of course I am. What's your question? I actually want to talk to Nikki about some crazy dreams that I have. I have this really repetitive dream where I move out to a mountain town and the whole town is watching the skies and the stars all start swirling really fast and I have flashbacks of this all day. Yeah, bro. You got to mm. stop stop with the pot brownies <laughs> before bed. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish that was it. What is your sign? I'm a Capricorn. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cap- I love that. Oh, Cap- oh, 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 oh. yeah. Capricorn haven't been doing very well, but sign. they're going to be doing much better. But what you're seeing is what I'm seeing too. You're a little bit intuitive too, because it means that there's going to be some tragedies, earthquakes, all this stuff happening mm-hmm. in 2012. I've been sensing a huge change in my consciousness, and I'm not sure if this is supposed to be giving me a message, putting me in a certain direction. It, it's in a you direction you're... telling you to get a cottage up north. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you mean your conscience? Nice. What did she call it? Consciousness. No, what that, what, what that is, was, you're, see... It's a higher consciousness. A, a, see, as we get closer to December 21st, 2012... I am so self-consciousness. You, you, you pick that up. Now, before 911 happened, I actually dreamed about that nearly every week. For a couple of years. Mm-hmm. And so you're definitely, you know, a lot of people who don't think they're psychic or intuitive, they could be a little intuitive in picking that up. Well, I just, I wasn't sure if it was telling me I should be moving out west with my sister or if I should be staying here with my family until the next year and see what happens. Well, the only problem with out west, you know, that's where a lot of the problems are going to happen, ca- you know, the catastrophic oh, things, the earthquakes. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh. Dang. Hi, the edge. Hi, I'm calling to uh, speak with Psychic Nikki. Yeah, what's your question? Um, I just want to ask her um, how uh, my relationship is going to go. I've been with this guy for uh, four months. And He's going to give you herpes. Wanted... Thank oh. you for calling. <laughs> Hi, The Edge. Hey, how's it going, man? What's up, bro? Hey, Psychic Nikki there just said that there's going to be a person of interest dying in an Apache helicopter. Did she realize that that's an attack helicopter and not a passenger helicopter? <laughs> Um, I don't think, no, I'm, I'm almost sure she doesn't. No. It doesn't uh, matter, it's going to crash. An Apache oh. helicopter yeah. is going to crash? Yeah. How about Are the, they shooting a film? How about a Black Hawk? <laughs> well, it, was, was, it, was, it, do you see a Black Hawk? It could be a Black Hawk, but I... What? A Black Hawk. Really? Hawk, a bird. A bird. <laughs> huh. So it might not be an Apache, it might be the other one. A Black Hawk. No, I see an Apache. This is what I see: an Apache helicopter crashing. And he said that's an attack helicopter, yeah. but it could be somebody like Prince Harry. No, as a passenger one is a a Black Hawk. But isn't there the Chicago Black Hawks? That's there a are. hockey team. There are. Right. Good. Yeah, what would they be doing in an Apache helicopter? I don't know. No, there's a there's. No, no. There's a Black Hawk <laughs> helicopter oh, as well. Oh, Black Hawk. Yeah, it's oh. a Black Hawk. It's it, it's a it's a like a it, it goes in, gets the guys, and it takes them, drops them. Did you see Black Hawk down? You never saw Black I Hawk do- down. I saw Black Hawk down. I definitely did. It was a great movie because what I movie? like military men. They look great. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They look good. They're actors. Hunkies. What was it? Hunkies. What was the What was the name of them, the film? Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk Down. Okay. Black Hawk Down. Apache Down. 
<laughs> no, what I meant to say, like they've got a high, no. like this guy is not <laughs> listening. The guy so, on the phone was not listening. Yeah. He said it's an attack helicopter. He didn't think that any one person of interest could be in an attack well, helicopter. Well, of course. And you're could, saying it could be. It could be somebody training who's high yeah. profile or a high profile politician. Yeah, what's his deal anyway? That Who? guy. What? That guy on the phone. He's a hater. I don't know. What he's, he's, a he's a hater. He's, a, he's like. Hater. He, he gets up in the morning and he's skeptic. Yeah. Go back to bed. I, I, <laughs> take, oh, a oh, oh, take, take a dube. Take a dube. <laughs> Dean Blundelso, 102.1, The Edge. Okay. Cool. Anything else you want to say before you go? Yeah, your girlfriend's hot. There you go, B. I can't get her mind. I can't get her. I can't get her off my head. Who's he talking about? Your girlfriend. (laughs) (laughs) He's talking about her boobs. Who's girlfriend? (laughs) (laughs) The Dean Blundelso. Mornings. It's so crazy. On The Edge. Hey. Hey, lady. You turn on your microphone. Yeah, it's on. No, it's on. It's there on you now. Go. There you go. Yeah. You look, you look, you s- oh, I can't say it. Too. I was going to sound rude. Rude. Yeah, I had Again? a filter. I had a filter, so I, I didn't say what I was thinking. Oh. Okay. But you look like a carved pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea, Todd. <laughs> Actually, I, I have something to say. You do look orange. You're wearing orange. You're wearing an orange shawl. Is that what it's called? No, it's the a shawl? sweater. Sweater. Whatever. Yeah. Wearing an orange shawl kind of sweater, and you're wearing it. like a rusty muff on your head. Yeah, uh, but my muff's not rusty, Dean. Oh, if yeah. any, oh, don't start. Any, if there's start any start rusty after. muff around here, it's yours. <laughs> oh, thanks rusty a lot. Or dusty. <laughs> you're the only one to get up the WD-40 to lube it up. <laughs> oh, actually, that's a great idea. Great idea. <laughs> there's like a thousand uses for that stuff. <laughs> It's like a thousand and one. <laughs> thousand and two. <laughs> More like you six. Do and three. <laughs> yeah. Thousand and six. Yeah, oh, thousand and eight. <laughs> um, oh, good how good. are you? Oh, I'm good. great because Halloween's coming. Yeah, it's your favorite time of year. It good is. time to get red too, right? Yeah, it's a great time. The best time. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Yeah, why don't you get to some predictions? Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm on the cover okay. of the U.S. We'll get- tabloid. Yep. Okay. Which one? Uh, the U.S. tabloid, The Sun. It went all across the United States. Can I have one of those? Yeah. Thank you. Really? The Look at her picture. She's right by Mary the Magdalene. Co- Let me see. I'm on the oh cover. Oh, my God. You're <laughs> on the cover? I'm yeah, on the cover. she's on the cover. Listen Whoa! to who she's on the cover with. Listen to who she's all on right, the cover. All right. She's on the cover of The Sun with John the Baptist, Black Elk. Uh, I believe he was a Native American who was uh, very... And Mary Magdalene. Yeah. Isn't that incredible? Good company. Incredible. This is the second time you've shared a cover with Mary Magdalene. That's right. Because you brought in one last year when you were... You That's were, right. Is this the same one? It's the same last one. Year? Oh, no. no, no, this is oh, a new, no, is. This is fresh, a new, yeah, new issue. It came out in uh, the United States on Monday and here Thursday. It's a freshie. A freshie. No, I'll tell you what's not fresh. It's a picture you used of yourself from the early 70s. No, that, actually, you know what? No, Todd, that is... I'm joking, I'm Todd, joking. that picture's only four and a half years old. Okay, That's it. Okay. I can bring you the... Yeah, the it's a leap, can it's, dude, it's a leap year picture. <laughs> no. no, actually, it's not Did that Did you old. read what's on here on the title? Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Jesus, did you read one, that? What's yeah, that? Jesus, the, my favorite one is Jesus Returns After Al-Qaeda Thanksgiving Day Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says read me like that. As awful. the world rushes towards 20... Did you write all this? Yeah, a lot of it. A lot, a of, lot it. of it. Yeah. yeah. Some of the predictions you make here, a city in Israel suddenly disappears into the desert after a strange white light is seen hovering in the sky. Yeah, it's scary out there for 2012. A platoon of injured war veterans is cured after going to a country chapel in the Great West that was visited by the Virgin Mary mm. in 1859. The Virgin Mary was alive in 1859? Oh, they're showing how John Travolta was reincarnated. Did you see that? Was he one? really? That's another one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so was Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Probably. And Chris Walken. Uh, yeah. He was like thousands of You did hundreds of them. Yeah. Lots of predictions. Tinseltown is shaken up when two high profile Hollywood couples divorce. I heard a great one yesterday um, about. Uh, Who? Humphreys and. Uh, no, Ashton. Um, Ashton, Ashton Demi. Kutcher, Demi Moore. Ashton Kutcher f- uh, filling uh, Bruce Willis's and Charlie Sheen's slots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a great. That's a great one. That's a great yeah. line. Wow! <laughs> and a shocking incident unfolds at the House of Representatives. A heavy set movie star passes away from stomach stapling surgery. That's a good one. I hope it's Rosie O'Donnell. 
Really? Why, Dean? I can't stand her. Oh, really? Vladimir Putin is fatally poisoned while vacationing at a vodka tasting competition in a city near the Republic of Georgia. That's pretty well, that's a specific. specific one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, I know where that is. What do they pay you for this? Um, she won't say, dude. Yeah. Really? She's yeah. hyper private. Okay, I, I've always thought I could get like at least twenty bucks. I don't tell yeah. Gaddafi okay. anything. <laughs> what? Oh, because like Gaddafi. Yeah, Gaddafi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anything else you want to predict? Oh yes, I got. Pre- and now I'm, I'm just, I'm working on my 2012 predictions. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's and I got to tell idea. you this: it's pretty <clears throat> scary astrologically for the world. Talk to me. So I think that everybody should live it up. And have a great year. Oh, what I know what she's saying. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know what she's saying? Yeah. We're all going to die, so... Yeah. <laughs> go to, go so, to town. So are we all going to die? No, we're not all going to die, but there's really uh, oh. bad, catastrophic give us things a, give happening. Us some, give us a per, uh, like a, an amount, amount population. How many people are going to die? Percentage even. Mm. Maybe less than a million. A million people? Much. A million That's people not die too every much year. In a billion. Yeah, not that many. A million? Maybe but how many people in Canada? Not not that many. I'm still working on that. Are you really? Yeah, but the, where's the where's the majority of the problem going to be? Where, where are the well, most dead people? Well, you know, I, be? I see a lot of bad stuff in Mexico. Lots Mexico. of stuff mm-hmm. like catastrophic. They are going to kill yeah. a million tourists. Hey, <laughs> come, trust I'm, I'm getting that. <laughs> I'll that. give you a taxi ride to <laughs> hell. The, all, all the all way inclusive, up. including a coffin. <laughs> because I think that's what the Mayans saw too. Yeah. Yeah, and also all up the coast, the like right up through BC, Washington, Oregon, California. Mm. You know, there's going to be a giant earthquake even soon, uh, and really? there's going to be another oh. one. There's going to be when? so many earthquakes. Another colossal one in Japan in 2012 as well. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, mm. Japan. They better start hiding the nuclear facilities. And and, and I don't Shut trust North Korea, you know, that's going to be a big bad Is that thing. Dude's still alive? Kim Jong Il? Is he still alive? Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of things happening. So I would suggest don't get scared. No, no, I, the don't. world's not going to end. You know what? I yeah. want you to be honest. I would rather you be honest with people than than go. Oh, things are kind of looking iffy, but don't worry, because if you you know if if someone told me, hey, listen, world's probably going to end. Give me some big stuff. Live it up. Get drunk. The world's not going to end, though, Dean. It's not going to uh, end, but there's going to be massive changes in the world. Good. Well, what are kind of changes? Changes in okay, you know how the globe of the world is now? It's not going to look like that anymore. No, no change square. The globe? I'm sorry. It's going to be a big square. No, well, yes. No, Derek, like land masses be, will look different. Land masses will look different. different. You know, there could be a lot, a lot of tsunamis happening. Oh, you think really? we're going to ever lose some land and just have more ocean? Like the, exactly. like the West Coast. It, with yeah. certain certain areas like that, yeah. Wow. There That's will good. be certain areas. So there'll like be that. more there, islands to vacate. To. That'd be great if Vancouver yeah. became the next Atlantis. Yeah, like different things, <laughs> different things like uh, sea levels changing, um, the atmosphere on the moon. What? To be, able to, breathe, to be able to breathe on the something, moon? Something happening between the moon and the sun, which will cause a lot of solar flares. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd say live it up right now. Yeah, well, what you're saying is get it all in because you're all going to die. Well, no, no, Dean. Not everybody's going to die. It depends on what area they're so in. So you're, th- you're saying Japan's going to be terrible. Terrible. Uh, the Mexico, West Coast is going to look terrible. Mexico. West Mexico all the way up to uh, to Vancouver. Right. Oregon. Yeah. Alaska, very bad. If you really? live in these yeah. places. Alaska. Can, if you live Alaska, in these, Alaska, very wow. bad, she said. Wow. Alaska, too. I was you, just going to ask, if you live in these places, can you can you have sex without a domer? I, I don't think you should worry about that, Todd. Yeah, that's <laughs> not, awesome. not, you know, you should all Doesn't live it matter. up right now. Did you hear that? Yeah. I yeah. know. Psychic Nick is encouraging you to have unprotected <laughs> sex for the next year. Well, not really. <laughs> and and you can also, because you're still going to be around. Mm-hmm. You know, certain. Did they have just, condoms around when you first started having intercourse? That's a great question. Condoms? Mm-hmm. What's that? Yeah, there yeah, you go. No, no, no. Uh, of course uh, they did. Uh, of course, uh, of course uh, they did. Of course they did. Uh, yeah. no. They were made out of sheepskin and yeah. paper. <laughs> sheepskin, shy. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Hey, sugar, sugar tits, why but, don't you head over there and get us some of that sheepskin rubber and all? We call all them through. safes. Now, now there's going to be assassin. <laughs> there's going to be assassinations of the high leaders. Okay. Really? Well, yeah. Who's the what are they smoking? Well, <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I go go and hang out with him? Yeah. 
<laughs> There's going to be a lot of hey, stuff. Ha- like, shot. honestly, I'm, I was scared when I started to do this. Mm-hmm. I, I thought, Talk to me. Let's go. No, Talk, but I don't want to scare people. I don't. I want you to. That's the point. Oh, you do? Yes. 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 I don't you said that 17,000 times. Yeah, Come okay. on. It's just like young kids going to college right now. <laughs> you know, they want to know about their Come future. On. Come on. Yeah. So anyway, in certain areas <laughs> of the world, it's going to be pretty bad. Like where? I told you some of those. Well, then quit And all across yourself. the United States, there's going to be terrorist attacks. Stuff really? Like, yeah. It's just astrologically the whole world. It's going to be all a messed good, up. Yeah. It's not in a good place at that time We're in 2012. All, all right. You know, and not all at once. Like these things will start to occur, you know, January, February, March. And then toward the end of 2012, a lot. But, you know, if we can get through that, it's going to be much better after that. If? Yeah. Certain How's areas. Toronto? Because you're going to freak everybody out. How's well, Toronto? the o- Trump's okay. The only thing I'm worried about is New York being so close to Toronto it's, and yeah, Washington. Really, you know, right. that's what I worry. I've been worried about. about that with Buffalo for years. Yeah, they have a huge snowstorm. That's for sure. <laughs> You're going to get buried. And They're Erie. probably the only ones that are going to live through it because of how they did already. Yeah. <laughs> and Erie, Pennsylvania, too. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. But it's going to be like, I wouldn't worry about it, Dean, right now. Okay, but listen, when you said you started thinking about stuff and getting scared, what did you get scared by? And don't repeat because, what you already said just to talk about other stuff. Well, I was just get, picking up like really bad things for 2012. Well, I know you said that, but yeah. what? I know you're not being specific. Okay. It's kind of uh, annoying, to be honest. Okay, yeah. just yeah, you're makes me think you're not telling the truth. Or you don't know. I am. Like, yeah. Ter- total earthquakes on one day, like huge, massive earthquakes all around the in world. An area, you know, oh, more than world. more than one <laughs> tsunami happening. Because wow, I wonder the- if they're triggered like that conspiracy theorist said the other day. Yeah. How you can trigger earthquakes and tsunamis? I wonder if they're going to set up a bunch of massive explosions across the entire world at once. These yeah, new and, terrorists. That's what he mob. told us. And then the core of the earth, okay, it's coming off its axis a little more as well at that time. Yeah. Not totally. I hope it doesn't affect and, Twitter. Um, I think it will. <laughs> yeah, don't, like, you know what? The little things we had, like, with Rim the other day and everything like that, you know, there's going to be lots of that in the world. See these dicks, uh, cons- too, they're Turn suing BlackBerry. They've got a BlackBerry. Oh, yeah, a lawsuit yeah. against Rim because they, they couldn't check their email for a couple hours. Ridiculous. What well, a bunch could. of pussies. Yeah. On their home. computer. Go home and check Go your home. email. Stuff the o- happens. The only funny thing I ever I heard out of that whole thing, because I thought it was a great thing for BlackBerry, because it, for Rim, because people realized how much they needed it, right? Yeah, like yeah. I thought it was a good spin on it. But but I did hear, I, get, I got one funny email from a dude. He's like, BBMC blocked me, man. It was the only way, like, because he only had the pin yeah. identification of the girl. He didn't have email or phone number. Yep. <laughs> now, Yellowstone Park, you know, around that area, it's all going to erupt Grand Canyon, where there's mountains, the Austrian Massive Alps. Massive explosion. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't mean the world's ending. Just means there's a lot of catastrophic events happening. Just means you get a great deal on land in like um, Nevada. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, Dean. But what? you know, I don't think. Well there. done. Yeah. Well, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know what that means? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh. I know. Like Nevada's wiped out. No. California. No. Means Nevada will be probably waterfront at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah, it could be for sure. Instead no, of desert. No, that's what he was saying. That's why. You... Yeah, okay. like yeah. areas changing. You know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But anyway, and now I do see a gymnast dying at an event, like you know those ones that flip around. Yeah, we, we know what gymnasts are. Yeah. 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 Well, that person's. Gonna... You know those things that flip around. <laughs> <laughs> those <laughs> things. And what it's else? not flipper, <laughs> you know. And that person's gonna just. Fall, just fall like that, just like just fall, huh? that's it. Ah. Yeah, that's and it. I see a giant airport Go. heist. Okay, at uh, Kennedy and LaGuardia Airport, uh, like give me millions luggage, of dollars, see? millions of dollars stolen, jewels, everything. Soon, and a towering inferno in New York. A lot of snow in Australia, and I see an earthquake under the Taj Mahal in India, mm. which isn't good. That's not good either. And um, an earthquake in Russia. I see more bird attacks. Now, I did say something about dead birds. Yeah, you did. And there were like thousands in uh, Georgian Bay, right? Yeah, I said near Georgian Bay. Did you say that? Yeah. Perry, I had emails from people. Yeah. And um, the thing is, like, there's going to be more dead birds happening, even here in Toronto. You know what happened to those dead birds? They ate some bad fish. Oh, I know that. But, you know, I don't think that's all of it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We had an expert on the other day told us he ate bad fish. Right, I heard that with oh, Richard Surratt. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's good. great. Yeah, yeah, he's great. But what I'm trying to say is that I still see dead <coughs> birds. 
happening. I it's see not just that. from fish. It's just from things in the atmosphere. See the I bird. I look in I, the mirror. I told you this. <laughs> I see an old bird. Thanks Molly a doesn't lot. want a cracker anymore. <laughs> no, the, listen, there's. I see an old bird with a rusty muff. <laughs> My muff's not rusty. I'm not an old bird. I'm a young bird. All like, right, try a robin. Uh oh, someone's going through their time with well, the moon. <laughs> yeah, right. 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 Time of the twenty decade. years. <laughs> this is the Dean Blumdell Show. We are dickhead free. One hundred two point one. The Edge. Psychic Nikki's here. Uh, we'll take some phone calls. You can get to your couple predictions real quick you wanted to get to, and then we'll uh, take a break yeah, and come back. Yeah, now I want to also say that I did predict that Steve Tyler had to be careful of his health. It's on my uh, website. And that. also Loretta yeah. Lynn, and they both had Lynn. health problems. And the earthquake in Turkey was mentioned on this show sure. a couple of months back. I don't so. think it was. I don't yeah. remember it. Now, yeah, it is. I it's believe you. Issue. I just don't remember it. Okay. Uh, Derek will find it. What? No, okay, no. now, um, London Bridge, you know, London falling Bridge is down, fall- yeah, falling down. Yeah, it is going to collapse. Really? <laughs> 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 Do they right. build it up with sticks and stones? Um, I believe so. Okay. Now, there's going to be attacks of birds near City Hall. Okay. Okay? And I do see saber-toothed tigers. Damn. Yeah, they're going to... Do you get the name right? Saber-tooth? You sure it's no? Saber? So I think it's cyber. Oh, cyber-tooth. Cyber-tooth. Like, okay, cyber-tooth. Cyber-toothed tigers hmm. um, cyber-tooth. attacking people in Colombo, Sri Lanka. That's really? what I see, yeah. Cyber. And typhoid, typhoid fever Typh- in typhoid. 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 <laughs> Typhoid I, fever. I, I didn't mean that. Typhoid fever. Yeah. In West Africa, coming to North America, a famous movie star is going to be kidnapped on safari in Nairobi, Kenya. In Kenya. Wow. Can I ask you a question? Who the f goes on a safari? They do. Yeah, it's People the love stupidest, it. dumbest, most retarded thing you could do. Just Why? go to African lion safari. It's the same thing. No, no you don't. Dude, even I'd go. You wouldn't go on a safari. No, I really, would, I would I go would. on a safari. You know, uh, what do you want? You listen, you get no, two dude. weeks off. What would you like to do? Mm, go to a third world nation, drive around in a jeep, and have things chase you. Man. And, really? Oh, and take pictures. Can you imagine though? You ate a brownie before? <laughs> oh, man. So oh, man. Uh, okay. I see the grass. I don't see the lion. Where's the lion in the grass? I love tigers and lions. All right. Okay, now a politician's oh, going to have a sex change. That's awesome. Yeah, sex a Canadian change. Canadian one? Um, could be Canadian or American. Okay. Okay, and I see a horrifying accident on the New Jersey Turnpike with several vehicles involved. All right. Very you said bad. you only had a couple. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Boring. Okay. <laughs> 2012, the end of the world's not boring, right? No, yeah. it isn't. Okay. No, not for you. But. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Derek just made it. Come just on. relax. It oh, was a okay. joke. Yeah, is that, a, is that what? my intro? No. No. Yes. That's your extra. <laughs> <It's bad. laughs> See you later. <laughs> Dean Blundell Show. Now accepting female listeners. Each and every morning. On the edge. And go, Todd. Go. What up? Hi, the edge. <laughs> no, this is Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Maureen. Maureen. One of my least favorite female names. You don't like yeah, it? I don't know I why. Like now. I didn't like it when I was a kid. I like it now. Like Mo. Mo. I go by Mo. You yeah. go by yeah. Mo? Yes. I know a couple of Maureens. One of them's cool. Gross? Gross? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, Mo's good, though. I like the name Mo. Oh, good. Let's go with Mo, then. It's All right. Momar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you got a giant knife up your hoop. <laughs> right. Uh, what's your question for Nikki? Uh, I was just asking about my career. I have a really technical career. It's a good job, but I'm hoping to make a career change, and I'm wondering if she sees anything there. What do you do? I work for a TV station. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Like in uh, in front of the camera, behind the camera? No, uh, doing graphics. Oh, do you? What TV station? Uh, a sports TV station. Or TSN or Sportsnet? Um, or the I score? Yeah, I don't really care to stay on air. Why? Oh, come on. It's only one, it's one of the three. You must hate your bosses. It only yeah. helps them out. It must be real dicks. <laughs> I, oh, that, then I know where you work. 
Uh, so what's your question? Are you going to keep doing your job or no? Is that right? I would like to do something more creative. Well, go and, do it. Uh, I'm wondering if she sees me making a career change. Yeah, you're going to make a career change and a move, too. Now, I, mean, I see you in Calgary. Oh, my God, no. Yes. <laughs> yes, but it's good. Like, I, I see you really going up in the world in your profession, but doing much more. You don't sound too willing to change, though. No, no, I, can't, I, I don't really want to move away from this part of Oh, uh, come my, on. Well, why do you want to tell is a, people this what is they want to hear? I know, but you know what, ma'am, to be honest with you, when, usually when people call in and they ask what's going on in their own lives, it's kind of like up to you, right? Like, that's the common sense part. If you, if you want to do something more creative, you've got to make a sacrifice if you're not doing it now. So that means you might have to move to Calgary. But you're going to get a better position. Yeah. For and, sure. And you're going to meet a dude with a huge hammer. Like, like don't worry about it. It's going to get better. He's going to give you the HPV. Oh. <laughs> Calgary Stampede. Well, By that would edge. be awesome. Getting the HPV would be awesome? Yeah. Oh. Do you know what that is? No. no. <laughs> That's amazing. <Yeah. laughs> she invented it. She invented it. She's immune to it. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks, guys. <laughs> you don't know what it is, so you don't even know if it's an insult or not. It's not. Kind of. Sort of. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, The Edge. Hello. Hey, hey, dude. How are you? Good. What's your question for Nikki? A uh, question regarding numbers. For some reason, well, so we're going to ask Nikki for. Uh, I see the numbers four, four, four all the time, and just in passing, uh, might be on a license plate, uh, a house number, the time of the day, but it's always those three specific numbers. Bobby Orr Museum in Perry Sound. <clears throat> you know what's really weird? This is really weird because I dreamt about four, 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 four last night. Isn't that really? weird? Yeah, I did. Now you're freaking me out. Then. Yeah, that is that's freaking oh. me out. Okay. <laughs> And I, like that's that's wild. Now you may want to play it on the lottery. You got some winning lottery numbers. Oh, I'll, you know what? Four, four, four. four. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some four. soup. I'm gonna give you Lotto Max. You give him some soup. Yeah, no, Lotto, Lotto I Max heard numbers. Heard soup. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. Okay. That's really now, weird. Just come over, Sonny. I'll give you some soup. Are you go play the Lotto? <laughs> now, now I'm gonna give you Lotto Max numbers. Now the yeah. last number, because then everybody would be playing them. I want you to use your birthday. How original is that? So if it's a if it's a, <laughs> if, it's a if it's a dub, if it's a double number, you add them together. Okay. Okay. So, what so are the numbers? It, okay. Now I'm getting 17. 17. 14. 14. 44. 69. Four. 69. Four. Three fours are 12 and eight, and you use the last number. There you go. Congratulations. Okay. All the best to you. Hi, the edge. Hey, how's it going? I got a question for Psychic Nikki. Sure. Um, well, my ex and I uh, were married for like only a year and a half, but we were together for like seven years. And uh, we had two beautiful children together, two beautiful girls. Um, but just something near the end of our relationship um, told me in my gut, like I haven't found it out or anything, but... Why'd you guys split? Uh, she, well, she was talking to a friend of hers that was apparently her best friend since they were like young and stuff, and it's a guy. And... Um, They've been like friends on and off here and there, or whatever. Yeah, dude. Time. Just to just to just to recap for you, yeah. I'll, I'll help you with this one. You don't need a psychic, by the way. But um, if she's got a best friend who's a dude, she's uh, not on the up and up. No, I don't know many chicks that do. No, but and if and if the dude thinks they're best friends, he's in it for something far more than just being pals. Absolutely, and I've even said that to them. I've never gone out of my way to go and find this out for myself to see if anything had actually happened between them while we were married or together. So It yeah. did. It did, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I figured so. Yeah. Is she with that guy now? She's with him now. Yeah. yeah. Their best friend. And, and, and who's got the kids? Uh, she's got the kids. I have them like every other weekend. That's um, it? What? Did you do something stupid? No. It's just like well, we went to family court and everything for all this stuff. And it's just. Did it's, you scrap for him? Did you try and get him? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Filed everything myself. Did everything I could. But, uh. That's yeah. awesome, dude. You know what? As long as I know you tried, that's the most important thing. Just be a good dad. All right, yeah. man. Yeah. I appreciate that. And thing. the days off, just go get some kills. Absolutely. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> Crush a couple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and send your ex some pics and tell yeah, yeah. them they're hotter than her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Definitely a new girl that's around you in the how future. Do you, dude, can I ask you, how do you feel right now? Like, are you pissed off? Are you sad? What's no, the deal? You know what? Because it's, it's something that I've always thought had happened um you know that was going on when we were together and stuff but i just never could bring myself to because at the time i was trying to make it kind of work the best that we could right because we're having other issues 30 what are your other issues uh well the other issues there were just things you know 
that were going wrong in our relationship kind of things. You did know? you guys have good sex? Absolutely. Oh and he's like, I brought did, it. Did you, you hear did, that? You, did you bring it like, yeah, he's like, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> did, did you bring it right up to the end, dude? What's, What's that? Did you bring it right up to the end? Right up to the end. Right up to the end. It's just. You didn't kiss her, did you? What? You didn't kiss her, did you? What are you talking about? Well, yeah, what are you the talking about? the end, if she was cheating on you, I'm just asking, did you guys open mouth kiss after like right towards the end? If she was doing Oh, this you're asking dude. him if, if, yeah, yeah, if he knows what her best friend tastes like. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Uh, you know you're not making this any easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you expect? <laughs> you call the radio show about your marriage, dude, and you probably listen enough to know that we'd ask that question, but please, did you kiss her? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, no, you, you focus on your kid. How many you got? Two? Two, two beautiful girls. Yeah, well, dude, you focus girl. on them, love them, and, uh, and the times you don't have them, call them every day and tell them you love them, and then go out and uh, smash and poontang. All right, man. All right, yeah, see? You <laughs> made it easier. <laughs> <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge. The Dean Blundell Show. Oh, my God, I love it. The Dean Blundell Show. I love balls. 102.1. I like balls, too. The Edge. Psychic Nikki's here. Hello, Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah. What is she doing? I don't know. Let's hear it. You're the solo. Just you. You sounded like Little Richard. Do your little dick. Do your just Do it again. Hey, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm on the Team Bondell show right whoa, now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotcha. Yeah. What are you, a horse? No, I'm a rapper. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> a rapper. Listen, if Soldier Boy can do it. Hey, by the way, who's on the uh, the uh, Unplugged uh, show today? Nikki. Are she really? Oh, yeah. great. I can't you on the wait. Unplugged show today? Wow, I can't wait. All right. Do you know what it is? I do. I doubt it. I do. It's Maybe an internet we can, show. We can yep. tweet some pictures of her. Well, today I'm going to tackle the um, <laughs> how you know your the conversation, how you know you're gay. Because I had a long conversation with about it with Taggart last night, and I said, "People don't know Taggart." Oh, Jeremy Taggart yeah. from Our Lady Peace. Yeah, we do because we're his friends. Yeah, but that's what we're tackling today. We'll do some uh, predictions and phone calls with Nikki too. That's what you and Tiger got together. And <laughs> oh, yeah, about. we had dinner last night. Uh, <laughs> Who brought it up? Wow. Um, Over sausages. Yeah. <laughs> when we, I can't remember how we talked about it, but we were dying laughing because um, we were discussing what what the some of the worst things in the world would be. I'm like, well, trying gay and not liking it. That's the old thing. I, that's what I'm convinced it would be the worst feeling in the world. Ten seconds into, hey, I, I don't like it. Uh. Convinced, worst feeling in the world. If you realized it wasn't, for and then you. Taggart, Taggart yeah. double dog dared me, not double dog dared me to hit to him, but he he, he double dog trumped me. Yeah. He trumped me by saying, "Dude, I got you one better," even holding the guy's hand. And then I'm like, oh, "You win." That's true, actually. It'd be the worst feeling in the world holding another man's hand like walking down the road. What? Be the worst. I'd rather hold a man's hand than do that. <laughs> uh, no, but that's really? how you know you're gay if you're holding a dude's hand and you're comfortable. And yeah, you're- and you like it. Yeah, but straight people do I'm that confused. too. I'm confused. No. Realizing you're gay when you're like, eh, yeah, would yeah. be awful. Yes. Awful, awful. Yes, I can't imagine anything worse. No, it, but I couldn't. But knowing you're, knowing you're gay by doing yeah. that, yeah, that's one thing. But if you try holding a guy's hand and you're not gay, that's extremely gay too. Yeah, but I'm just saying. I'd rather start with the baby steps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I thought oh, like holding was, hands, maybe yeah. a pinky. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. long stairs. Yeah. That's yeah. Long stairs or... So, or even looking at a guy yeah. thinking, I just want to hit that. Yeah, yeah. We'll start with that one. Yeah. I just yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, good work with the Justin Bieber stuff this week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, s- you predicted that, didn't you? I totally did. did. I, I predicted sca- sex scandal around Justin Bieber. Hey, cheers to Nikki. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. But, you know, he has to watch his health and well-being, too. <laughs> yeah. But I'm a Justin Bieber fan. So. Of course you are. Are you yeah. a believer? Are you really? Yeah. He's kind of cute, you know? He's a douchebag. <laughs> well, anyway, but there may be another woman coming out of the woodwork saying that she's also had a baby <laughs> from Jeff Moore. Really? Oh, he's going to be the next Tiger Woods. <laughs> and, it could, and, and it could also be a man I have thing. a feeling there's going to be a very large difference between uh, Justin Bieber and Tiger Woods, if you know what I'm saying. Right. And oh, could, I see. Tiger Trumps. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and there could also be a man thing, too. What, oh, you think he's going to be with a dude? 
<laughs> you heard it here it, first, it, folks. It, it, it could be a rumor, you know. Wow. Maybe one of his handlers or something. <laughs> I get it. Oh, that's where the guy thing comes from. <laughs> right. One of his handlers. Right. Really? Do you think this kid is his? Is it going to be found to be his? You know what? There's a good possibility of that. Good possibility. <laughs> oh, yes or no? Well, I haven't even All thought about that. All signs point to yes. Yes. I would say yes. Because I'd say I'd... no. I think not. <laughs> But if you say so, Nikki, you're I mean, right she so may far. be doing it for publicity too. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah. There's, but even you if think it is? You think it is his I, kid? Well, I think he does have a kid out oh, there. Oh, okay. I don't know whether it's hers because I see another woman. She like looks that. insane. Yeah. See that one with the tape, paint like tape taped to her face and her head, and she's given. She's got a really long middle finger though, Dude, so it looks she like must. E.T. She must keep mm-hmm. herself happy. I haven't oh, seen her picture yet. Yeah. No. Oh, you haven't seen it? No. Oh, you haven't sure. seen it? Yeah. No. I'll pull it up if on you the look blog. at the picture, do you get extra psychic? Like, will you be able to go, oh, hey? Yeah. I may be able to do that. Yeah. Will you be able to go, hey, uh, this is um, this is for sure, uh, she, uh, like she's lying or she's telling the truth? This is If Jimmy. you look at her picture, can you discern oh, yeah, whether? Mickey. Yeah, let me just look. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not what? Well. Well, here's a pretty normal one. Oh, of yeah, pretty normal. It's on do, my blog Do you here. think that she did it? Do you think that she? Well, she may have had sex with him, yes. Yeah. Oh, the last picture I have on my blog, her mouth's open. That makes oh. sense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Most she, things were, I think. But but when you look at her, so she she could have had sex with him, but that night might, might not be his kid is what you're saying. Right. Right. But I do see somebody coming forward and saying it's his kid, like somebody else. Hmm. Yeah. But she's got death threats now, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the, the tweets. Year, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Get ready for a war. Yes. <laughs> yes. From all our believers. All our believers. But you know, the, he's not a little boy anymore. He's growing. Yeah, he he's got he's hor- seventeen. You know, he's got hormones. No, he'll yeah. like, be considered a sex crime, though. Well, he no, made right. that one moan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hormones. <laughs> think it's back. a hormone joke. <laughs> okay, think back when you were seventeen. You had yeah. hormones. Would you do that? Have sex with that fat chick? No. No. Wait. No, I wouldn't. No. I, dude, and even with your and Todd pointed out yesterday, sometimes you're that young, you get blinded by titties. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't, honestly. No. Nah. That is, I could not do that. Maybe he was intoxicated or something. A little bit intoxicated at that point. Intoxicated? Yeah. Like, drank too much, maybe? That no. Night? It was, it was, dude, oh. it was right, wasn't it even, it was, it was after the show? It was, uh, was it? After yeah, a show, right after and she went show, into the, the bathroom safe. and porked him in the bathroom, or she calls it the uh, Stratford Hilton. Yeah. yeah, well, I think I think a lot of you know rock bands and singers have done that in the past, uh, for that's, sure. Uh, that is sick. Yeah, that's what that is. Anything else you want to predict? Yeah, there? anything else? Right, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, a rock sing anything or a else? rock band, yeah. one of their members is going to disappear, just like that. Their penises? No, oh, no. One remember. of the rock band me- members okay. will just disappear <laughs> like after on stage? a con- after a concert. Like they just they can't find them anywhere, hmm. and it's going to be like that for a couple of months. They won't be able to find it. Hey, I just I'm on Twitter right now. Matt says uh, at Matt DT says uh, psychic Nikki has to go. She's awful. No laughs. Boring radio. Oh, Love the on. show. Otherwise, you didn't need to have it. Oh, thank you, Matt. Hey, but- but that rock band you're talking about, maybe yeah. it was some 41's career. Oh, dude, I heard some crazy good stories <laughs> oh. about the lead singer of that band last night. Right. Oh. Crazy good story. Right? You know what? Let me tell yeah. you one off the air. Everybody yeah. shut off your mics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm going to tell a story about the lead singer, uh, Derek Wibley from Sum 41, that I can't allow you to hear, but I'm going to tell everybody off the air. And then we'll get everybody's reaction when we go back on. How does okay. that sound? Yeah, yeah. I totally knew she'd come home and see him doing that. I knew it. That's cool. That is. I am cool. Very cool. Uh, I'd like to make Matt disappear right now. No, no, no. Matt, who? Oh, that guy. Uh, Matt DT? Anyway, a cruise ship is going to disappear in the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, man. That's that's pretty, pretty something. Yeah, right in the, there's something underneath. Water. Well, could be aliens under there, too. Yeah. Under the cruise ship? They're like fish. Yeah. Underneath the wall. Let's get them, guys. Yes. <laughs> now, a foreign bank is going to go absolutely bankrupt. There's going to be a run on the bank. Again? Yep. Mm-hmm. And I do Good see... Good thing I have no money. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. right, Dean. <laughs> okay, and I see a plane will lose altitude when somebody aboard has a bomb 
and it blows a hole in the plane, and the person gets sucked out. <laughs> but the Did they have plane, parachute? Uh, no, oh, the person dies. That's the person goes well. right. Yeah, but that's a person with a bomb, right? The person's yeah. like a poop. Right. <laughs> what? What do you mean by that, Todd? So it was like a little sucked out, like a little bomb. Like a pebble. And then, and then, and then, oh, just yeah. right out of the oh, hole. Well, yeah, yeah. that's how it works. Yeah, a person's a poop. Did you ever Bunk. see Airport 1975? You're weird. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's going to happen, but the plane will land, okay, well, and there'll be very few fatalities, which Listen is Listen to this. I got an email. You know how we're talking about trying gay? Yeah. yeah. This guy emailed me. He's got balls to email me this. Dean. It did happen to me once. I was in university and pretty much screwing anything with a pulse. Met a gay guy and thought, why not? I'll give it a try. Yeah, being the top was easy enough, but when it came time to switch, it only took me three seconds to realize it wasn't for me, James. Wow, he gave his full name and everything. Really? Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, you see that one? Yeah, I know. You got it, too. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say his name. Well, maybe he was bi-curious. Uh, no. No? The second that thing went into the into the, the toilet, he was gay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, I also see um, a famous Canadian producer passing. There is it one? your buddy, Norm? No. He's I, pretty old. Well, I know, but I I don't want to say who it is, but I had a well, dream who, turn about it. Off, turn off the mics and say who I it heard, is. I heard a dream. I had a dream. You heard a dream. It. I mean, I had a dream about okay, it. Okay, shut off for mics. Tell us who no, it is. No, no, no. I don't shut want to. Shut it off. No, I want to know. No, you yeah. mustn't. Okay, I'm going to write it. Come on. Okay, write it. But you not to say anything, okay? Because Norman Sam will be. No. USA. No, no. Don't no, say no. that. We're going to get into trouble. Here. Why? Do we know? I, oh, wow. Yeah, I know him. I know him. Yeah, but don't say nothing. I know him, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 but don't say nothing. Yeah. Oh, that okay. guy's like 107,000 years old. old. Really? Yeah, I, had a, old. I had a dream. Oh. 60. Okay. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> back to the oh, Good luck, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> now, a world-famous soccer player yeah. Yeah. Uh, will be paralyzed in a car accident. That's oh, not good. Oh, not good. I wonder if it's that... Uh, Rooney? Yeah, Rooney guy, because of all the whores he does. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Now the, what a life that guy leads away. I know. He's got the wife or the girl, and it's like, no, I'll do a whore still. If you want to be with me, you got to accept it. Yep. It's brilliant. And she's like, okay, yeah. no suppose. problem. Let's just all just mind the baby. You go out and... Put your thing in the wallet. Put your thing in the flesh wallet. And have a cup of tea. All right. Okay. Um, Also, there's going to be a large earthquake in Lehman, Peru, like really big. Yeah. And a bomb in the London, England subway system. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Near Charing Cross. Okay. And I think it's around Charing Cross. Dude, and that's Victoria. where we were. I know that's why. Oh, is it? Yeah, was yeah, it yeah. really? That's exactly yeah. where we were. Yeah. And and Victoria Station and I, yeah, I see the yeah. I see it coming. I think we're doing Amsterdam, Ireland this year though, so we'll be okay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, like we're yeah. ever gonna get to Ireland? Okay. Oh, <laughs> very good. Yeah, we will. Now I'm getting an uprising in Hawaii through a small group who wants to break away from the United States <clears> because cool. the economy was better before. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> it's been 70 years. I know. How do they remember? Well, they do. Okay. They do. Now, no, no. hula hoops will be back in vogue. Right. Okay? Goes with Hawaii. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. we're going to get another earthquake in southern Ontario here soon. Really soon. Right. Okay, big one? Be cool like if you're a doing pretty, a hula hoop then. See yeah. if you yeah. balance it. Yeah. yeah, like a pretty big one. Like a like uh, like that. Right. Like that. Sorry. <laughs> like that. Yeah. I see longer hair for men. Yeah, where? So, where? So, yeah. where? So. All, all over, like uh, longer uh, hair. Longer, sorry, I think she means longer, clean hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, because in 2012, there's going to be a really large power blackout. Yeah. So you won't be able to use, you know, shavers, razors. Yeah, right. so you're saying what about to stay scissors? Warm? The yeah, scissors stay not warm. work. <laughs> no, you could use just a straight blade. You can use a, like a like a one with with soap and stuff. You can use that one. Yeah, old but school, people right? Are old gonna school. Go, people so are I going do. back to old ways. In well, 2012. Get on shade. Well, like we're going to be making our ice cream out and doing our, exactly. doing our laundry outside. Be on the front porch. Get out of here. Yes, you're going to be are? churning your own butter. That and, sucks. Wow. Just a minute. For how long? For quite a while because there will be a giant... Power uh, blackout. Not if you're the elite, you're fine. Oh, okay. and, yeah, and there's yeah. we're not. <laughs> I'm not. That's the problem. None of us here. We're very oil. average people. I need to know them. I got to do my laundry in the bathtub. Yeah. Probably. That sucks. Why? You're Just alive. Just like how large your what, farm. What are you worried about? You're alive. <laughs> alive is more important I, than doing your washing. Can I get, still get to work on time? 
there may not be work for a few months. Like it's really, yeah. Like it's mm. it's going to be like a power glitch computer. You won't be able to use your cell phones or anything for a I'd few like months. That sounds yeah, for a few nice. months. You go yeah. up to you know you're churning your own butter. You're killing animals. Do you see me food. killing an animal for food? Yeah, like a deer. Or that something. sucks. A deer. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Why people do it now? No, they, they don't. Hunt. Hunters do it. Oh, we'll Idiots do it. To do it. No, well, I love won't. deer. I mean, I could never <laughs> yeah, do you it. You align it's yourself with those it's people. A joke. <laughs> I could never do it because if I see a deer's face, they're so cute. No, but listen fun. to me. Listen, I need to. Let's get back to this. Yeah. Because you're talking about 2012 and all the crap that's gonna gonna happen with it, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, please tell me that we here in this city will not be running around trying to catch raccoons for dinner. I can't tell. I, I mean, it's true. It's true. Like, you'll be making Sucks. your own butter. You know, you'll be like... What's you- with the butter? I don't want to make butter. <laughs> I think she used to do it, and it's the only thing she knows. No. It's- <laughs> what, is it, Nikki, what, is it, what does it look like to churn butter? Oh, what you is, just... What like? Show me. No, it's like this, right? Churn it. Like yeah, this. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. it was more of a like, kind of a... Well, like that, motion. too. Churning. Oh, it's like a, like a big, giant rubber fist, I guess. Exactly. She's doing the Dutch rudder there? Yeah, she's giving herself the Dutch rudder. I sure you felt good. Anyway, like, you really have to think old ways... For a while, not for eternity. For a couple for of months, so, or a couple yeah. of weeks, even <laughs> maybe. Right. Yeah, You're not, not to worry. So keep the cottage. Yeah, like pe- right. people are spoiled now. What about the pioneer people? No, but that's what we've evolved. Right, dude. You can go to the grocery yeah. store and get a complete meal in a bag and yeah. take it out of the take it out of the bag, throw exactly. it in the microwave for three seconds, and serve a family of thirty. Exactly. That's, that's where we've gone now. Yeah. And maybe not good, maybe not bad. Right. But I need you to look me in the eye and tell me I don't have to kill a deer to feed people. You have to kill a deer to feed God people. God damn it. <laughs> really, really, you really, you really, you really I think mean, that's going to happen? Maybe not that drastic in some areas. Okay? but I And I'm getting like at night in the daytime here. You know how up in Iceland and Sweden and all I was those- watching Boardwalk Empire and yeah. they were in the park and they were eating squirrel. <laughs> Did you see that one? No. Oh, they were they were they had, a, uh, they had like a squirrel. It was like they're making s'mores with squirrel. <laughs> well, squirrel, 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 squirrel fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're throwing a squirrel in a graham cracker. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Some chocolate. Yeah. It was awesome. Really, uh, <laughs> really I mean, were. I'm not even lying. You ha- like, look at cavemen. When's this blackout? In 2012. Yeah, when? but I got to get prepared for it. I got to get a whole bunch of what, canned dude? goods because I'm not killing animals. Okay. I probably would, though. I'd kill an animal. I'll pass that. Throw a bunch in the freezer for a couple months before. Yeah, some venison. Yeah. We'll no, make, I'm just go saying, go buy a side egg. of beef from we'll a make, farmer. We'll make jerky. Oh, like, yeah. people, when they get <laughs> desperate, eat they'll eat anything. Now, there was a plane that crashed in 1972. In, in the Andes in the with the soccer team. And yeah. those people, yeah, they ate each other because yeah. they were desperate. It was weird because when the police showed up, they yeah. had all the guys that were still alive in the back giving each other gum jobs. Exactly. True story. If you were hungry enough, you would eat another person. I'm not even yeah. kidding you. They would... Well, you got sexual like needs to sea. eventually. Yeah. And there's going to be more cannibalism, All right. too. All right, Jose. More cannibalism. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. Like in Canada? Canon? We're going to e- eat everywhere, people? Everywhere. It's like that movie, The Road. Have you seen yeah. that with Viggo Mortensen? No, no. You haven't seen that movie? It, he, he, it's trucker. like it's like after yeah, after uh, the some kind of apocalypse, and then like he goes on his wife k- kills herself, so he goes on the road with his kid. But there's cannibals everywhere, and they're trying to eat people. They're all trying to eat each yeah. other. And he like and he gives his life trying to protect his kid from being eaten. So finally, he shows up on a beach, and then some some beach people save him. I guess I don't know. Hmm. Wow. Stupid movie. It's r- r- the worst. <laughs> it's the worst movie. But, but I watch it from start truth. to finish yeah. just because yeah. they were eating people. I thought this is pretty cool. Vigo's <laughs> handsome too, though, right? No, he's not no. in this movie. He's all okay. dirty and gross, oh, right? The apocalypse. There's no showers. Will the showers work in 2012? No. God damn it. <laughs> you have to get one of those, like a tub, like a wooden tub. I like you a tub. And have to boil water. Yeah, just okay. not forever. Just for a little bit. Like a couple of weeks? Yeah, like a couple of weeks till things smooth over. Well, that's different. Yeah. Yeah, you, sh- you should. Dude, if this happens, though, we will be so. You know what I'm going to do if this actually happens? I'm coming to find you. You are? Yeah, and you're going to come with me and you're going to tell me how I'm, what I'm going to do every day. Wow. You got to go do this. You got to go do that. Well, maybe the like, government great. will put me in their ark. I doubt it. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows anymore? I know. You're listening to the Dean Blundell Show on the edge. Back to this 2012 stuff. Yeah. Oh, by the way, 416-961-7976 if you want a reading from Psychic Nikki. We'll take some phone calls in a minute. But back to this 2012 stuff. You're not scaring people in as much as you're giving them information when you tell them where and what is going on. Oh, Okay. So be honest. Yeah. You, as soon as we got off the phone, we got off the air with you, you were like, I don't want to scare anybody. Well, scare away. Really? People want to be scared. Oh, okay. They do? 
Yeah. Maybe. Every week we, we say the same thing to okay. you. Okay, okay. Scare us. Well, you it's know okay. what? No bars anymore. No, I'm just going to go with it. It's pretty scary stuff. Now, I would put away like rice, canned goods, water. Yeah. Rice, canned goods, water. I would certainly buy a cottage up north. Yeah. You know, which would be good. Are what you else? working with realtors up north right now? Is uh, that your plan? <laughs> could be. I got a cut. Dude, yeah. I heard next year, like this next summer, things are just going to be cooking up there. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, like real estate market. It's already just cooking up there, out. bro. Yeah. It's crazy. Getting away from the cities a little bit, you yeah. know? And, you know, up there you could hunt. You could fish. You could, excuse me? You could fish. The fish hunt. Fish hunt. Yeah. But, you know, the waters may be polluted, too. Yeah. That's another problem you have to worry about. Right. Yeah. What, from, from, the, from the 2012 fallout and the blackout? Exactly. And I see poison going into the Thames River. Do you really? Yes, I do. Let's talk about here, okay? Okay, here in Toronto? And yeah, the Thames River, not in London, England. Okay. But I want to talk about what's going on here. Okay. What should people hear? Like, what areas in North... Because you said off the air, North America is not going to be very good. Well, it's going to be tough times in North America. Right. Like, I'm, like, I'm not so worried about it here. I'm worried more about Washington and New York, which are close to here. Yeah. Which could have, you know, a problem. I'm worried about it here. I think something's going to happen in Toronto. Would they be devastated? Well, I know we're going to have a terrorist attack here, for sure. Oh, you know, for sure. Those are strong words. Absolutely here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry to frighten people, but it's going to happen. Right, right. You know, we're due. We're overdue, if you ask me. We're overdue. Yeah. But well, we did won't. you hear about these, like, Canadian terrorists that were training, I believe, in Somalia or something? There's, like, 20 on this, like, big uh, watch list right now that actually were Canadian that went there. Really? No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just in the news the other day. So it's like, so it's like they're like, it's like they're grown now out of Canada. Like, it's scary. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, it's not cool. I mean, cool. not cool. Really it's cool. bad. I mean, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad, I should say. Are they like uh, like white Canadians or Somalian Canadians? I don't mean any disrespect to anybody's race. But yeah, I didn't see pictures of them. Like, are they are they Canadians yeah. that whose heritage is from that area? I I believe so. Those are the sickest well. pigs, if you ask me. If you were to say to me, Dean, who are the sickest pigs in the world? It's the pigs that come here on the government dole and taxpayer money, then go back there to get trained to hate Canada and democracy. I, the the, the worst human beings in the world, worst. Even worse than Rob Ford. Hard to do. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, now, and so now they're saying, and, and now Canada's on a list of a terrorist attacks. That's really? Like, yeah, yeah. That was uh, the Somali groups uh, uh, had a, there was like, they taped calls for terrorist attacks on countries, including Canada. So this could go with what, what Nikki was saying. Now, I would say Vancouver, Montreal, Toronto, and Ottawa. Would be the yeah. Who's hot. gonna bother hitting Winnipeg and like places? Saskatoon. Yeah, I, know, let's be yeah. I have a good target for you, Mahmoud. We'll go to a CFL game. We're going to <laughs> Regina. We're going well, to take out all twelve people at the Rough Rider game. <laughs> go Riders, big time. That may happen. The watermelon. Right. Want that to happen? I didn't even, the I didn't even the know guy. there was an Argo game yeah. last night. Sorry, what oh, were you saying? Oh, I was just going back to. The, I was just going to say in the tape, the guy said uh, on the Somalian tape said, "Do jihad in America and do jihad in Canada, and whoever jihad is, he's going to have a great time everywhere." Because yeah. okay. <laughs> someone's doing them. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> oh, we got. Oh, there yeah. we are. Yeah. Joining us on the telephone now, uh, Nadia Suleiman, uh, Octo Mom. Good morning, Nadia. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for joining us. I know it's so uh, so early for you in California. That's okay. No problem. No uh, problem. Uh, Thanks okay. for having me. No problem. How are the kids? Are, are they up there? Are they watching cartoons? What's happening? Oh, no, they're sleeping. Everyone's sleeping still. So I'm going to be waking them up. How many they're kids you got? How many, school. how many kids you got in there? 18? Everybody, everybody, about, yeah, 44, actually. <laughs> Everyone's sleeping, and they're they're all so big. They're huge now. It's Are like, they really? I'm like starting high school next week. Time flies, you know. <laughs> Who? How old's your oldest? May ten. I say? He is ten. He's ten, ten years old. And then, how old are the yes, eight now? Yes. And then they are two and a half, almost three. Wow, it's been that huge, long. Huge. Time flies. Yeah, as I said, it feels like they're almost starting high school. So it's good. Time flies. They is it big? He's is it kids? It, yeah, it, 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 it's crazy because I haven't heard of like, a, you know, we, we obviously we hear about your day to day operation and stuff, but we don't hear about how healthy the kids are because for someone to give birth to eight kids, no matter the circumstances, right. and not not often right. are they all healthy, but they're all seemingly healthy, well, correct? They're, they're never, they're never healthy, but they were born healthy. 
they were actually born super, super healthy. And there was no problems from the time I was, you know, pregnant with them. Well, they didn't know it was eight. But when I had them, and they were healthy, healthy. They breathed room air like us. You know, they didn't need any kind of, like, special... Ventilator. Nothing, you know, no special um, intervention or anything. It was, it was kind of beyond science. They couldn't explain it. Mm. So they still can't explain it. They're actually 80th percentile in over height and weight of a single tan who's not premature. Dude, you got so super DNA. percent bigger and healthier, yeah, than one baby. So they're humongous kids. They look like four. Do they really? Five. Do maybe. Go ahead. So how's that? How's that let, let me ask you something. Homework time. How's that work? You, you help with all that? Homework is mainly just for the older kids, and it's just, you know, at night, it's just simply, you know, I, I go through, and pretty much most parents go through struggling, you know, just to get them to, to do their homework, but the reward system works well, and they're doing really well. Who so helps you at home? Do you have do you have in-home help? I have no, I haven't had any nanny for January, it'll be about a year. Are you serious? Do you, you are <laughs> superwoman, <laughs> Nadia. You're super, yeah, you are, you're, no, not only do you... No help. Yeah, you breed like uh, super, super children with great, this great DNA, but you, you yourself. That's amazing. I'm doing you- it myself, right? If I work and I'm gone, if I have to work for, you know, then I'll hire a babysitter I've known for like, I've known her for like 12, 15 years. But I, it's one person and she's there for like a few hours and, and then that's if I work. That's it. Do, and then she leaves. Do you ever have fears <laughs> because you have such a big family? That like a couple of them, or maybe even only just one, it's going to turn out to be like just a bad apple, like a yeah, criminal just or something. Total jerk like, off. Yeah, one of them. I think that even people that have, or one person that has one child, that one child can end up being a bad apple. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You, don't, you never know. You never know what genetics plus environment is, how it's going to influence and shape a child. Because I tell you, everything we do in, in genetics and environment is going to significantly um, contribute to how they're going to turn out when they're older. Do, so do you, you can have one, one person, right, that yeah. ends up being a sociopath. You never know. You <laughs> never know. Do you, do, you, do, you still get the, do you still get people coming around to check on you and stuff like the, the, the Department of Social Services oh, yeah. and stuff? Yeah. That's what, that, no, no, I mean, still people are coming. You know, looking news, nosy nancies are still coming up into doing turnarounds on the cul-de-sac, and they'll look into taking a picture of the house or the trash cans or whatever. <laughs> it's not as frequent, but it still happens. It's kind of it's hard. You get people going through your garbage. Yeah, yeah. That happened about the last time was about a year ago. No way! Yeah. What they go through? Why, why were they going through your garbage just to see what you were eating? So, we, we got the diapers. Like we got the know, diapers. I'd like to ask. I know exactly. I'd like to ask them. I have no idea. There's a lot of people in the world, unfortunately, that rather than live a life, they choose to talk about it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's like I, I, I choose to be one of those people that live my life rather than talk about it. Because we have never had internet. I've never looked at any of those tabloid things that they chose to put us in. I've never seen an interview on TV. I don't watch TV. So it's like I, I've, I've chosen to kind of just live our lives rather than watch it. Do you, do you <laughs> Nadia, you, you're, yeah, totally. And, and let me say this. You're really hot. So, uh, do, do, have you have you had a chance? Have you gone on dates or anything? Do you have a boyfriend? Have you got anything cooking? No, no, not a priority at all whatsoever. I avoid it. Actually, there's people that are searching and seeking it. I am doing the opposite at all costs. I avoid it. I look at, I look down at the ground when guys stare. So I just you know oh. I've never really dated. I've had one boyfriend my entire life. That was the last time was over a decade. Way over a decade ago. Aren't you horny? And one 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 donor. One donor, yeah, and that's it. It's, just, it's not a. I'm one of the, I'm one of those weird people that actually I could be friends. If you ever in the future see me in anything with a with a guy, it's probably for business because I could be friends with somebody forever and it never manifests into anything physical. Oh, you know what you are? You're you're a giant C tease. That's what they call you, a C tease. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, the wiener tees. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't you have don't you have needs and all, like a couple questions here actually like like needs and and wouldn't it be nice to have some financial help from a man and and how is the financial situation? Okay, that's what's so that's what's so funny is that people are like, okay, you know, why wouldn't it be easier just to like find someone that's mar- that's rich or whatever? Yeah. And, and then the first thing I say is, what on earth does that man's money have to do with me or my family? Absolutely nothing. Obviously, that person and work very hard for their money. Therefore, I'm going to work my butt off for my money. So it's just, it's completely disassociated from, from a person with their money. But I don't see it. My brain is not wired that way. Mm-hmm. If it were, I would have been married and had an easy life many, 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 many years ago. I, I chose the, the road less traveled by, obviously. By so most, no right? kidding. 
You're uh, and you're you're making money by uh, celebrity boxing Amy Fisher coming up soon. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hope you kick her ass. By the way, oh, oh, she's actually a nice person, but um, I, I'm excited to kick her ass. To be honest with you, are you training? So it's, it's um Saturday. It's Saturday. The, the irony is that I've been training for survival on my own. Huh. Just you know, and then that that, revol- that that resulted in being a fitness trainer privately, and then because of that, this kind of came came along. So that was really nice. That was a great. I'm really, really grateful, actually, for any job. I guess so. Something that 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 allows me to be as you know, maintain my hyperactivity. Yeah, I'm uh, super active and hyper. I get. Yeah, you are. You <laughs> seem like idea. you seem like you're really full of life. Yeah. Nadia Suleiman, Octomom, is our guest. Do you like the name Octomom or no? No, I'm desensitized. Actually, you don't even care. My kids love it. They still make fun of it. Yeah, they call me Octo. I'll just they they just they don't they they make fun of it. They like it. They, they tease me about it, but it doesn't matter. I could care less. You could call me. You could say my name wrong. I, I wouldn't even care. Huh. Can I, I ask? Can I, I ask you, what, what, Nadia? Can I ask you one quick question? Are your boobs real? Sure. You know what? I had a breast reduction like almost, almost, almost twenty years ago. They are so awesome. Yes, but they've been they were reduced. Yeah. But they're, they're fantastic. Reduced. Oh, they're so reduced and we, they're still they fantastic. Back. Yeah, we thought they, they were increased. Back, unfortunately, they, they, a long time ago when I had to do it because they were uh, by the time I was fifteen, they were a double D. The doctor's like, okay, in the future, if you choose to have children, yeah. there's a fifty percent chance they will come back. Well, I guess I guess that happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens <laughs> when there's <laughs> ten. Now, now uh, I know there were. Yeah. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. There was a time in your life you were uh, you're making money a certain way. You're doing the celebrity box, even though you kind of don't like the you know the being in the public eye. But did you ever consider yeah. that porn angle? I know there was talks of that. Oh, was shoot. Uh, again, it kind of fits into my no dating kind of theory. It's, I, I didn't one um, aspect. The main aspect is I, I don't believe in anything obviously casual. So it's like uh, it's like a domino thing. Okay, in order for me to ever in the far future. Yeah. Um, be with someone physically. I gotta, you know, know them for years. I got, I have the, the relationship has to be friendship and grow, and you yeah. know what I mean. I obviously don't. It's not for me. That's all there is to it. What I relationships mean, with like guys or sex with guys isn't for you? Anything. Oh no, 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 not that. It's just that if that were to happen, it would have to happen very, very slowly. And I am intellectually stimulated by somebody, and that would have yeah. to evolve into something physical. It takes it would take years, by the way. And and then another person could sleep with someone on the first date. So do I judge them? No, because is that person me? No. But I mean, um, obviously, are they setting themselves up for failure in their relationship? Probably. Mm. But who am I to judge them? Really? Yeah. And I'm not. You know what I mean? I live my life for me, and I take responsibility and own responsibility for my choices. And that's just not for me. I, I laughed at it. And no desire just to get down with a guy, though. Like yeah. no desire to yeah. go no. meet a guy. No. And just, I need, need my needs met. You know why? You know why? Because probably my my friends have just coined me as being a different breed. I'm just not the same as most people. My brain is wired differently. I think I behave differently. I, I choose life obviously, you know, differently. Yeah. So I mean, I I don't. I've never experienced that thing that adults experience, so that that they crave it. I don't hunger for it because huh. I haven't really. You don't know what you're missing. You don't miss it. That's how I perceive it. So no more kids. So it's like I. I no more kids? Did you say kids? Oh, yeah. Me. Did you say kids? Oh, yeah. maybe factory closed permanently. Thank you, though, for asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thank you. Oh, oh boy. Shaves the baby oh, shoot. Yeah. Use the pinch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, well, I, you're, a, you're, a, you're a fascinating person. I just assume that you'd be like everybody else with 100 kids, but you're not. I'm very, 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 very different. Yeah, and people yeah. never wanted. They wanted to just meet a, fit, a certain mold. Yeah, the and irony, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd have all very those kids. Different. So, have you, you? You've never had sex with a guy? No, I have. I had a boyfriend for five years. Oh, okay, many years back, and he's not. No, he's not the father, but the donor is the same donor. For do you Do you still know the donor? Like, does he come around, say hi to the kids, no, and go, "Hey, I got nothing to do with them. No. See you later." Nothing. He's seen them. No, no, he's seen them a few times. Um, the last time, many years ago, and it was probably like eight, seven, eight years ago was the last time. and, and Same donor was, for all the kids? It was, it was an agreement. Here's the thing. It was an agreement we had verbally. Yeah. You must and have good genes. My word, <laughs> yeah. When I give my word verbally, um, mm-hmm. that's, you know, it's unethical for me to ever, to ever kind of go against it. Mm-hmm. So from the very beginning, uh, tabloids were offer, offering me about a million bucks yeah. to disclose his name, and I told them politely where they could put their million <laughs> <laughs> because that's who am I? It was in the it was in the it was in the anal anal region, wasn't it? With yeah. a million, basically, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you list off the kids' names? Can you I do that? With. Is that a challenge for you <laughs> still? 
Should I say their names? Oh, yeah, no, can you do that real quick? Okay, everyone else. Sure, I'll do it real quick. Ready? Tell me when. Go, go. Okay, go. Go. Elijah, Mira, JJ, Aiden, Calissa, Caleb. Oh, boy, here we go. Noah, <laughs> Malia, Isaiah, um, Nariah, Jeremiah, Josiah, Jonah, and Makai. <laughs> wow! wow. So it's, like, it's like the Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, like re- we really oh, appreciate you taking time out with us this morning. Good luck in Celebrity Boxing this weekend. I hope you kick Thank Amy you. Fisher's Thank ass. You. Be careful she doesn't pull a piece on you and try to <laughs> shoot you in the face. I'm just, I got I to be careful she doesn't take off one of those, you know, the stripper heels and then stab me in the eyeball. So i got to be a <laughs> watch her. Atta girl. It's always a risk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nadia. You're a sweetheart. Thank you. Thank really you so appreciate much, your time. Take, take care. Take no Thank problem. You. Thank Bye-bye. you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nadia Suleiman, Octomom. Huh, interesting. Yeah. What a connect. Most, if you, if you Google her Hooters... You won't be disappointed. <laughs> Amazing hooters. I just can't believe she doesn't have sexual needs. Oh, she does, dude. She gets a cucumber out and gives it the business. Mm-hmm. You think so? She's For kidding. sure she does. She well, let's ask Nikki. She knows. She probably is horny all the time, isn't she? Well, probably. I think she gives. She, she does it with a, like a squash, a nice summer squash. Um, Maybe a cucumber? Oh, probably. With yeah. peanut butter? Oh, okay. with, oh my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> If there's peanut butter, it's in the wrong place. Uh, and that's not peanut butter. Uh. In England, they have peanut butter and cucumber sandwiches. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know why it comes out, but good for you. Well, strange. The sandwich thing yeah. is all Oh, I get the too. peanut butter, like yeah. pulling it apart. Yeah. It's very familiar oh. for, I guess. It's the Dean Blundell Show. Head for the hills! Ah! 102.1 The Edge. Psychic Nikki's still here. Hello. Hi. How Dean. are you? I'm great. I'm great too. I'm, what you, a coincidence. Oh, that's so cool. Time for some open phones. Hi, The Edge. Hey, guys. Um, oh, Derek. Sorry. <laughs> Derek. Go ahead. I, I was wondering if I could ask Psychic Nikki a question. Yep. Go ahead. A psychic. Telling you your psychic to activate your psychic powers. Could you explain that again? <laughs> um, because every now and then you guys get a phone call from somebody saying, you know, am I a psychic? And I was wondering. Does a like, psychic know if another chick's psychic? Right. Yeah. Like, if you were asked. Oh, that, yeah. Please. Yeah. A lot of times. Like, it's I like could, Gadar for psychics. Yeah. You know what? You know where I see it first? In the eyes. If somebody is psychic, you can see it in their eyes. Really? Ac- what, are the, what do the eyes say? Are they like well, it's just, sparkly? Do they, they on fire? Do they turn well, green? Well, they kind of like brown. you look is at it them. a brown eye? No, you look at them and you and it just like it's a stare or glare. You know what I mean? Well, maybe there's someone just staring at you because you're weird looking. Oh, thanks uh. a lot, guys. <laughs> thanks. Hi, The Edge. Hey, I got a question for Nikki. Um, yeah. I was wondering uh, the next time I'm going to get laid. It's been five years. <laughs> Probably. Oh. oh my God! I hope. I hope it. You know what? Five years. <laughs> you know what? This isn't a prediction. Finally, but I hope someone it's more pathetic than me. Go ahead. You he's gonna get laid tonight. I said this is, isn't a prediction, but I hope he does. <laughs> What's your deal? Why haven't you been laid in five years? I don't know. I guess because I haven't gone out and tried. <laughs> How old are you? Twenty-one. Like, like I think you're a little scared. Uh, I'm not turtle? trying to embarrass you, dude. But... Does your wiener turtle when you get going? No. Like yeah, what, right when you get to the door. What's the farthest you've been with a chick in five years? <sighs> Nothing. Not even made out with a chick. No. Dude, what about guys? I'm not going to guys, man. You haven't had sex with a girl for five years. You obviously haven't made any moves. Are you scared of chicks or what? See, so, yeah, I think it's kind of weed. I've got a whole self conscious thing. That's what I think. What do you mean? Hold it, hold it, hold it. This guy's... <laughs> let me help you here. What? You're 21. Yeah. Have no, you been I, on a date I, with a girl in the last five years? No. What do you look like, man? Are you ugly? No. Good one, Todd. I'm, yeah. Uh, you short? I I'm, yeah, I look, kind of look like Todd a bit. No, no, you don't. If you look like Todd, <laughs> you'd be chasing Taylor uh, uh, off of you. Do you, do you uh, like, stay in shape? Do you... I don't know, there's... To, to keep yourself together, at least? Um, yeah, I'm like 155, five, six. Oh, you're a tiny little guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, it's coming together. You're just a little guy. You, yeah. you know, little guys are good. Well, so, yeah. no, not really, because he hasn't been laid in five years. But, I, you know, my my friend Paul I, 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 is very short. 
I've got a friend, his name's Paul, a, a, a neighbor. Very, very short. So Almost cute, though. He's a cute little guy. <laughs> and he married a very attractive woman, and they've got lots of kids. And but he's very short, and he's just a cute little fella. He's like a little button. He's like a like a like a little kind of doll. You just want to hug him when you drive by. And stop! Oh, let me give you a hug. You're so cute. But he married a very attractive woman, and and doesn't mean that you can't either. Even though you're short, maybe you're just really unattractive. Are you ugly? No. Do you have? Are you? Think, did you get burned so. when you were younger? <laughs> no. How's your hair? Uh, I got Todd's hair. I got a bad hairline a little bit. I got yeah. Kind of Jewish curly hair, but I'm not Jewish. <laughs> you know, I got it. You're going to get laid by two women. At the I same do. time? Yeah, and it's yeah. going to cost you 500 bucks. <laughs> 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 uh, and for the record, I don't have a bad hairline. <laughs> and I think Just that, bad hair. No, yeah. I think you'll feel better you after that. Todd, I said I do. Okay, okay. Sorry. But, but dude, listen, just do, just go out there, have a few drinks. And, you yeah. know, I have a buddy, and I don't act this way, but I have a buddy. Oh, and it's, all, it's, all, it's all an average game, right? Just talk to like, and if, even if it means you talk to fifty women, one of them's bound to say yes, and that's a lot of guys' problems. Is that they go and they try a couple or two or three, and then they sort of get discouraged. It, at, at some point, like anyone is going to get a piece of that ball at the batter's plate, right? So, so you just keep doing it, and you keep trying, and send, and eventually one lady's going to think you're cute or endearing or something, and say yeah, yeah. And, and then you'll try and date her and just be a nice guy. Do you, ever, do you hear the old adage, dude? That if you throw a ton of crap against the wall, something's <laughs> going to stick. Yeah. Uh, Throw no. a ton of your crap against that poon tank, dude. <laughs> and see what sticks. Oh, what is your sign astrologically? Um, I am a uh, Libra. Oh, that's Loser. why it's not happening. <laughs> because Saturn's in Libra. It's been in there for two and a half years. It's in there till actually October 2012. After that, it's gung-ho. It's true. No Libra at all has got laid in five years. <laughs> nope, <laughs> not, not, you and the rest of those Libra losers. <laughs> It, it hasn't been the greatest. Do you have a small Libra. penis, dude? Oh. No, man. Like six inches? Is that, is that average? Nah, yeah. You've measured it? <laughs> Everybody's measured it. I've never measured it. Oh, crap. Oh. I watched you do it with the magazine. We both did it. The magazine. Remember the magazine? No, I, I think it back in the my, day it was like Toro. I did it like with my hands. Yeah, I know. We both like, did it. Yeah. Because you can do the, by one hand on top of the other. And we were very, gotta, we were within, I think, a micro millimeter of each other. But your balls were way longer. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to be with somebody really soon. Are you circumcised? No. Oh yeah. Sorry, that's a man. Problem. Here we go. Oh, now man. we're now we're talking. <laughs> you don't have any game, do you? No, not really. I don't have any confidence either. Dude, what, why yeah, not? What no do you do for? Do you go to school? Uh, right now, no. Oh no. I'm just trying to find a job. Where do you work? You don't have a job. You don't go to school. What uh, do you do just, during your day? I just got back from vacation. <laughs> <laughs> And now you're on to another one. How long was it? I go vacation a lot, too. I just get, like, free trips. Yeah, from what? Uh, my parents. Yeah. Well, I'm so, yeah. it's all starting to come together, yeah. dude. Get yeah. off the parents' dole. Go get your job. Go You'll get a lot of confidence. Own. Strike out on you. That's how you get confidence. That's why we sent Midas to Alberta. Oh, okay. Yeah. He needs his confidence. you got to start doing your own thing, and then you'll start getting it wet. And you're five and a half inches up on Midas, so you're yeah. in good shape, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hang in there, dude. All right. Bye. He's going to get laid by two chicks. He is. I'm and telling as Todd you. pointed out, it's going to cost him half his salary. <laughs> I think I is. would do that, right? I'd go, but I'd, I'd, oh, if, dude, if, if it's it five, was five years, years, I'd for sure pay. Yeah. Hi, The Edge. Yeah, morning, guys. Five hey, minutes. Who, who's this? Months. <laughs> oh, this is huh? This is broke back Jerry. Hey, broke back Jerry. What's shaking? Yeah, I called you guys back in March. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just want to ask, like, Nikki. If I ever going to find out who my father is, which uncle it is going to be? Hold it. Which uncle it's going to be? Yeah, I call. I call like back in March. And your you, your dad was actually one of your uncles, but you didn't know which one. That's right. And that your mom didn't want to tell you. Well, it's, it's, it's my mom had a sexual intercourse with her cousins back in. I told you about this. I remember this guy. Yeah, I think that yeah, was too. a creepy, creepy. And I said story. it was like Mamma Mia. Yeah, it's the it's the gang bang. Remember that story, Dean? Yeah, the family the gang banged his mom. Yeah, it's weird. It's really yeah, it was creepy. very weird. Yeah, it's it was disturbing. Sad. She she so she doesn't even know. No, she doesn't know. So and no one wants to take a paternity to, uh, test because they don't want to pay for you, do they? No. <laughs> mm-hmm. Boy, you must feel special. 
<clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> so what'd you call us? Just to remind well, us of I, how I, weird I, this I, whole I, thing I, is. I just want to know if I'm ever going to find out who who okay. which uncle it is. Yeah, you will. You know, and you may even find out Christmas oh. of 2012. Fantastic. I'm getting yeah. it. Within a year, you're going to find out who this guy Good is. Good luck. What if a... it's that loser uncle, too? What if it's that one that he didn't want? Well, I think this Not guy... Not him. <laughs> no, I'm getting the guy... I, okay, I know this guy... I think guy... they're all loser uncles at this point. Yeah, no, the gangbang guy, mom. A cousin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I see the man, the uncle, okay? Yeah. And he drinks excessively. Oh. Okay? He smokes excessively. Yeah. And he's got a tattoo. Of what? Oh, of yeah. another woman on his arm. Oh. On his arm. Yeah. Tattoos, like, do you know, okay. tattoos for the most part are just ruinous. Mm. Really? Like, if you get a tattoo. What? No, go on. <laughs> What's that, Dean? They're ruinous. They're, uh, you know, people that get tattoos. Really? Especially later in life. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Uh, oh, yeah, they wrinkle. Well, not just that. It just uh, makes you look like you're trying so hard to, 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 to be someone you're not. Would you say there's an age limit when someone should get a tattoo? Yeah, it's like 24. 24, yeah. that's when it stops? Yeah, if, if you start getting tattoos later in life, I do have to say, it is extremely trailer. I'm going to get this rose here. On we my probably have a blade. lot of listeners, though, who have tattoos. Yeah, but suppose you have a tattoo when you're 18, and then when you're 75, you still have that tattoo. It looks stupid. Well, yeah, but you can't help that. At, faded. The, at that point, I'm not looking at the person at 75. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Where's that dolphin? <laughs> <laughs> that dolphin's <laughs> turned into back. a snake over oh. time, a green snake well, right I predict, there. I predict you're going to get a tattoo on your behind. No, I'm not getting one on my ass. I'm not getting a tattoo anywhere of anything. Tattoos are for trailer pigs. All right. Yeah. Anyway, you might be offending a lot of our yeah. listeners. I'm joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> but there's got to be an age limit. Like, I you, agree. You get them over the age. Like I if think you're 24, 25. 24, I agree 25. With that. You got to stop getting that. tattoos. Yeah. Like for that old guy to go get a tattoo, the old uncle. That's just stupid. No, he probably has it already. Oh, okay. From a long time ago. I thought you meant he ago. got a tattoo. Well, he has he a tattoo. No, not just now, but he has a tattoo from a long time ago, for sure. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Then. Yeah. I thought that you were talking about something else. No. And he lives near woods. Oh, great. Like, I see woods, like, I see yeah. it up, like, not right in Toronto All right, but can we be done? Oh, yes, yes. We gotta be, we, so we're going to go across the hall right now. Oh, for now. sure. Yeah, we're yeah. going to go online, folks. Uh, you can go, come online with us. Uh, edge.ca, if you go to edge.ca, we go unplugged online coming up in just a few minutes. Uh, it's our last one before the weekend. Psychic Nikki will be our guest. We'll talk about uh, what it would take to make people gay. <laughs> 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 And other things. And the manscaping stuff. Yeah, yeah, mean, the right? cleaning yeah, up yeah, of the yeah. junk. We'll take your phone calls too. 1 800, no, sorry, 1 866 967. 1 967. 3343. Or Edge. There you go. Uh, we'll go do that now. Thanks to Psychic Nikki for dropping by once Thanks. again. 1776. Uh, if you want to get a hold of her, psychicnikki.com as well. And, and she's on something somewhere. Oh, yeah, sometime. yeah. I'm going to be on a, a show called Love Trap. It's yep. on the Cosmo Network, and it's going to be November 23rd, and I'll let you know more about that. I'm a, a guest on that episode. You are a guest on that episode. Yes. All right. Still It'll be fun. Of course. Yeah, I didn't know how we're doing You ready? We, we do yes. it for the other one. <clears throat> yeah, no, we don't do it for the other one. It's just a big tease. Yeah, it's just a to work for her. What's a big tease? Well, because I normally we're just like, oh, nice, a weekend's here. That's what this thing yeah. is. But now well, it's like, oh, we got another hour. hour to work. Yeah, it's yeah. a fun hour, though. It's I good. Be a good Where, do we Where do we begin? Let's go with it. That's good. No. Yeah, I can no. Begin no. It's a show at everybody. So then I know no, we're strong. strong, going strong, going strong, going strong. Wasn't the spring? Wasn't the spring? Spring became the summer. But if the leaves you come, come along, hands, touching hands. Reaching out Touching me Touching you Sweet Caroline Bum 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 Good times never seem so good I'm so inclined Bum 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 To believe there never would 
Sweet Caroline. Good times. Never seem so good. Oh, it feels so good. Awesome. You are. You sound great today. Thank you. I am so inclined. You know he lied, right? To believe there never would. Sweet Caroline. Sexual chocolate. Thanks. Chocolate. The Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge.